have water in Senegal. Where is my princess? Are you deaf or dumb? Do you think I have water inside my mouth? Where is my daughter? Your Majesty, she didn't tell us where she was going. Yes, yes, Your Majesty. Your sister lay here like inanimate object for me, this rubbish. You don't know the whereabouts of my daughter? Now get out of my presence immediately. Out of my presence! Get lost! Where are you coming from? Father, it's morning. I, I really like to go for exercise. Oh, so I decided to... Dare you lie to me? How dare you? Who ran now? Where are you people coming from? Your Highness. Your Highness, I'm sorry. Please, we went to see Prince of Albany. Your Highness. But I warned you. I warned you to stop seeing Prince of Albany. I went all the way to a Neri kingdom to see him against my orders. I'm very sorry. I love you. I love Prince of Please, sign me. You love Prince of I have decided that I and that family will not have anything in common. My forefathers and their forefathers have been in enmity, and it must continue. Hear me, from generation to generation, even to the third generation, I don't care. And I'm very sorry, I do not understand what you're talking about. Because obviously, Prince Agudiri did not offend you one bit. I have decided, and that is final. You have nothing to do with that family. Talk alone, one was family. It is not possible. Now get out of my presence. Throw this out! Monkeys! Stop! Osile! Osile! I assign you with the sole duty of being around my daughter wherever she goes. Do not, and I repeat, do not allow my daughter to leave your presence. Make sure you follow her wherever she goes. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Out. It is only the crocodile that kept his mouth wide open that allows the river birds to peck out. Not in my time. Rubbish. As it became. My prince. Tell me. 
What do you think about Princess Kira? Hmm. Princess Kira is very beautiful. And I think she's the only woman who is fit enough for the Prince of Aniri Kingdom. Right. However, I'm only concerned that her father, Igweta Bansi Odena, would not want her to have anything to do with you. As if okay. My prince. Allow me to worry about that. Nothing good comes easy. If it were to be easy, then we weren't meant to be together. I'll handle it. Urezan is my maternal home. And I know Igweta Bansi Odena to be a very stubborn king. I know him. <laughs> As a became, when you sound negative, you begin to respond negatively. You need to be positive. I am sorry, my friends. And I pray that soon, the both of you will be joined together as husband and wife. Ise. <laughs> Untouched. You insist you don't want to eat. No, thank you. I don't want to eat. But it's morning. Yeah, I'm only to do. You need breakfast I in your tummy. I'm not hungry. Uh, I'm not. I'm not hungry. Because of the prince. You'd rather sit here and starve. Eh? Santa. I know it's my sins, like I'm, I'm running mad, but I'm not. I'm only hopeful, and I believe that one day the prince will be all mine. Yes, I'm very, very hopeful. He will be mine. <laughs> do, do you think you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you rather eat your wishes and fantasy than eat your breakfast. Is it not better? It's not. Ah, it's not. Look at me. You're a maid. A maid. Yeah. Look at maid. Palace maid. Guys, any which way you want to follow it, a maid. A maid cannot have the prince. It does not work that way. I'll eat it now because it came I didn't have enough of mine. I will take yours Go now. Go ahead and eat it. I want to be left alone with the thought of my prince. Yes. <laughs> I have heard of madness, so. In fact, I've heard of different kinds of madness, but can't they make now? This one that has possessed you is the Ogapata of all madnesses. You are serious. Hmm. You are serious. <laughs> Sometimes you're distracting me. I'm trying to concentrate and see the face of my prince. Juan, <laughs> eat the fantasy while I drink your tea and eat your bread. Go ahead and drink the tea. I'm not interested. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Just don't come and tell me you changed your mind. <laughs> Begin our long love. The occupation they want to be. When they grow up. <laughs> the dreaming of a man. I wish you well, you know. <laughs> Chi, I'm, I'm pouring it now. Asomta, go ahead and eat it. Leave me alone. Drink the tea. Eat the bread. Oh, my maka. Oh, maka. Can you go for now? Can you go for now? <laughs> How dare you tell my father the king where we went to? Are you mad or something? You remember? I'm very, very sorry. I was so scared to lie to the king of who is that. 
the consequences is very disastrous, especially for a male woman. Now you see what it cost. You can see right now that he has assigned me a guard who follows me around to, to give him every details of my movements. I'm sorry, it wasn't, it wasn't intentional. But I'm sure you to make it that way. Now, Uruna, listen to me very carefully. You better figure out a way to deal with this bullshit. Because I do not want that idiot anywhere near me. Alright? Now, what are you coming here to do? I command you this minute. Ask your princess to quit following me. Disappear from my sight. I don't want you around me. My princess, do I rather disobey the king? Now what is it? What? Stop following me. Stop following me. Yes, my queen. I do not need your services. When I need it, I will call you. I'm, I'm sorry, my queen. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. But, but I don't want to incur the wrath of the prince. He, he keeps telling me that I should be at your service every day in this palace, my queen. The prince is my son. I will talk to him myself. My queen. Please, my queen. But the wages that the prince pays me is an important source of livelihood for my family. If I stop working here, how do I make money for my family, my queen? Because they are, I'm begging in the name of God to go home immediately. Go home now. I command you as the queen of an early kingdom. Go home immediately. My queen, please. Go! <laughs> I locked my gate after you. I said go. Lock the gate after you. So, what are you doing here? Eh? And if I may ask, how is that your business? I said, how is that your business? This is my business because this is my challenge. I mark it. Oh, I see. I am very sure you are not going in there in order to seduce the prince because I will bring out your eyes for you to chew. Oh. Try me. Anyway, Chilota is not in the mood for people like you. Hey, 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 where did you go? Come back here. Why are you walking? I don't blame her. Oh. Hey, 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 Hey! So why are you talking about her? Give me. This girl stopped me. Oh, even now I got her own way Telling me, hey, I'm taking the prince away from him. She wants the prince. She sees me 
as a threat. Nezene ebo oba alo muna chi wen zezo zin the prince in Obo ya. See me see trouble Hey, but she's lucky. She's lucky that I am in a good mood. Maka obo re ya. So it's because of Chiwenza you were screaming down the entire village just and hearing your voice, Maka Chiwenza. Oh, you make one egg Are you not better than her? In every ramification, on my level, I'm looking at Chiwenza. You just need to be cool Stop it, don't behave. We both know the prince is yours. So so be quiet, eh? Wait, sister. Oh, hey, I cannot take it. Oh, I will not take it. My prince is mine, and nobody, nobody in this village. Will take him away from me. I'm a bet you and Zamu. Let's get dressed, oh. Makada, mama. Let's go get dressed, eh. Makada, mama. Hi. I will go inside and bring water. In one minute. Hmm? Drink a lot of water and cool down your temper. I need the water. I'll help you out in any way. Please, I need the water. But I will show her. I will be alone. 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 It's yours. I will be alone. I will be alone. Hey, Chimwenza. Okay. Call the corner and throw today. Hey, Chi. I got it. The earlier you understand how important it is for you to get married, the better for you. Mother, can any day go by without you talking about marriage? That is the stage you are in now. And that is one thing you must do to save this royal family. From humiliation. And if I may ask, who exactly is humiliating the royal family? It's you where your uncle told me to ask you to see him this evening. And it's very important. I don't think I'm ready to see him play that strict uncle towards me. The more reason you must see him. Wait a second, why exactly am I seeing him? I'm sure he wants to rant about reasons why I should get married. And it's not enough reason for him to rant about? Or it's not enough reason to deliberate upon? Oh please, go see your uncle. Mother, I'll get married when I'm ready. And for your information, I won't marry anybody you provide, maiden or whatsoever. I have someone I want to marry, and that's who I am going to marry. I'm so confused. I'm My throne has taken. me. I went to the palace to help the queen. She asked me to go home that she does not need any help now. Can you get me one? Again? Mama, are you sure she's not looking for a way to tell her son to relieve you of your duty at the palace? Mama, that one is her business. So. Honestly, it's not my business. I cannot kill myself over a queen that does not need any help. No, I'm not going Because, Mama, allow me to eat this food. Come on, get it. Get Mama, I don't know. You just need me. I'm ready, Kat. Oh, no.
I'm not happy. I'm not. I know now. Give him. Is he not the prince? What happened again? You, 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 you know how much I love the prince. Hmm? Oh, he's not looking my way. I don't know what to do. I'm tired. I'm confused. I, I, I don't know what to do again. So this is why I've been sitting here waiting for you to talk. You're this moody over an issue known as Gijok Supasiamake. We just talked about the prince. And I said, it's yours. What? Ha! What new has happened in this I situation? That you, you remember when I got the opportunity to work at the palace mm -hmm. as the queen's maid? Mm -hmm. I was happy. Mm. I was glad. I was happy that at least this is an opportunity. For me to be closer to my prince. But the queen, the queen will not allow me to shine. The queen will not allow me to be at the palace and capture the attention of my prince. I'm not happy at all. I'm not. Chi. Chi. In as much as I am aware of your desire to become the prince's bride, your ambition to be his wife, now that the situation is bringing you to tears, it's time we give it very critical evaluation. <laughs> Let's analyze the situation critically. <laughs> Do you think that the prince in his royalty, societal status, educational background, exposure, all that makes him think. Do you sincerely think that he will fancy a bride from a family like ours? <laughs> you remember who we are? Are you seeing the disparity? Uh, sometimes stop it. Stop what? You're not making this thing. I easy. am being realistic. What are you being realistic about? What are you saying? Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes you know this. When I marry the prince, everything will change. Our lives will change. Oh, good. Take a look at us. Look at our house. See all these blocks. Everything has to go into work. I need to marry the prince. I love the prince. I don't care whether the higher and the mighty or other girls. I don't care. I am meant for the prince. And the prince will be mine. G. That's all I do. G. <laughs> it sounds more like you're interested in him for what will come out of it. No. Or you love him for real. I love him for real. I love him with everything in me. <laughs> I love him and you know it. G. The prince must be by even the queen cannot stop me. <laughs> See, I'll take a mirror now. I'll bring a mirror so it's shaking. <laughs> take it easy with yourself. Watch your emotions. Don't high blood pressure. Don't get high blood pressure. You're a little girl. Oh. Before this overwhelming love of yours drive you to a chemist. <laughs> I you don't care. The desires of the righteous shall never be cut short. Yes. And my God knows that. My God is bigger than everything. Even the queen. Oh, <laughs> Joseph the dreamer. We hear you. We hear you. Never. Uncle, that's totally impossible. I completely disagree with you. I am the heir to the throne. I have the right to demand for more time. Ogudu Nero, everybody in the kingdom is sick and tired of your inability to get married. People are let that you are important. Or oh, are you important? Uncle, how can you say a thing like that? Did you hear yourself? I am not impotent. I just asked for more time. This is three years since the death of my brother. If people want to ask for time, 
it cannot be more than seven months or at least one year. But you've left Aniri for the past three years without a king. Nobody is ready to wait for you again. For your information, we've made our conclusion that if you cannot provide us with a woman, we will throw the whole thing open for another king to emerge. Uncle, that is not the right thing to say. That cannot happen under your watch. You cannot allow the genealogy of kingship pass or leave our family lineage. That's impossible. That is why I told the queen that I want to see you immediately. Oh, have you seen a wife? Have you gotten anyone? Well, I, I saw one, but it's complicated, uncle. It is. That is to say that what the queen said is right. Because he told me that you are in love with an unknown uh, uh, maiden. You've not told anybody the name of the maiden. Maybe it is a uh, death by moonlight. No, no, no. You kept it within yourself. Uncle. Yes? It's enough. All right? It's enough. I'll do something about it as soon as possible. You better do something as soon as possible. But let me remind you. Owen saw his iron that throne. And you know he has... A, a, a very rich son who is ready to sponsor him. Uncle, that's impossible. That cannot happen under my watch. Not in my time. Ah. Yes. Then do something. Before the quest of a kinship of an Aniri is thrown into a war zone, let me tell you, if you cannot get a wife by yourself, I will help you and get one. There are many beautiful men in, in our community. I'll get you one. Oh, I must mean, ask remember. Come to ask you to stop that guard from following me around. His presence makes me uncomfortable. Osile will continue to be around you as far as you continue with your activities in and out of this kingdom. <laughs> but father, I'm not a child. Why subjugate me to such level of embarrassment? I want you to stop seeing Ogo De Niro, but you continue to see him secretly. Like I said, Osile will continue to move around you. And if you dare bring any information that you have anything to do with that young man, I will cut off your ears and drop in your palm for you to eat it. OK, Father, I promise you. I'll stop seeing Prince Agudinero. But as for that boy, please withdraw him away from me. Just stop him. Switch your mind back. You promised me before. I listened to you. I do not want to be fooled the second time. Promises, promises, promises. If I dare see you around that young man, if I dare, leave my presence. Leave my presence! To think that I've been a king in this kingdom for several seasons! Little rat like this flouts my orders! Rubbish. This is an age-long enmity. And I will continue to keep what must be kept. If we're fine as a rubbish. O fool boss your fogin anya My princess What? What is it? I'm sorry my princess I won't be able to ask if there's anything I could do for you Oh Anything you can get for me Fine I would like you to go in there Help me convince my father To change his mind Can you do that? You can't, right? Now listen to me, next time don't come asking me if there's any stupid thing you can do for me. Because you can do absolutely nothing! Nonsense. So rude. It's 
not your fault. Spoilt brat. It's only the matter of time I'm put you in your place. Mm. And who are you putting in there? You said we have fallen in love with Prince Obutunu. Mm-hmm. What are you still doing with Tarente? I'm old enough to get married. I'm desperately in need of a man to marry me. I'm weighing my <coughs> options. If Prince Obutunu does not work, I mean they will work. But now it has become obvious that Prince Obudunu does not love you or want to marry you. So why isn't Anise coming to pay your bride price? Again, because of you. How? I sometimes, every time Anise comes to this place, you barge in and you embarrass the young man. So how do you expect that young man to get serious with me or marry me when my only sister does not see him as a man. Is that what he told you? Of course. That, that man. Harry <laughs> does not love you. He does not love you. No, he is not in love with you. He's playing on your senses and you're falling for it. Do the wise thing and run away from him now. I don't, I don't want to know. All I know is that I want to get married. And I must get married this season. Come December, it will not pass me by. Okay. Good luck. understand why you asked Chilota to leave. Why did you believe her of her duties? Which duties, if I may ask? Take care of me? Am I sick? Do I look incapacitated to you like this? I can't take care of myself. But mother, you hardly know your way around this house. It's a lie. I know everywhere. But instead of you to bring your daughter-in-law, your wife, that can show me around, instead you went and hired a maid. What does the maid know in this house? Mom. There's nothing a wife can do for me that you cannot do for me. That's not true. Bring a wife that can cook for you, Ogubdiniru. Bring a wife! I spoiled you with your wife responsibilities. And you take that privilege as a liberty. What is that? But mother, are we going to go over this again? Yes. Because we never had any conclusion on this. Marry! Get a wife and marry so that you can claim back your rightful position as a king of this great kingdom. Oh, can do? Get married, or if all job. But mother, I, Ogudiniru, I have told you time and time again that I will find a wife and I'll bring her to you. We don't have to nag about this. If you don't want to get married because you want to claim back your rightful position, marry because you want your mother to hear the voices of her grandchildren, run around this compound, making her happy. Look at your height. That you grown? Look at how big you are. You should Mom, get. You know what? It's too early for this. To honesty, it's just too early for this. Too early for this. Okay, no. Maybe this wife you're talking about is a mummy. Because no one has seen her in this palace, nor around this community. Who is that girl you want to get married to? You know what? This is good. What? Why are you to run away from me? I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. I'm confused. I'm married. I'm confused. 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 I'm confused
around does not involve you meddling in my privacy all right i'm sorry my princess but i know privacy when i see one and this is not privacy i'm specially trained to capture and tame sneaky people especially when they want to disobey the king and what does that supposed to mean you disrespectful brat? answer me it means i'm obliged to follow you anywhere you go to your privacy is only in your room and not here Okay, fine. See, just, you can have this. Just use it and, and get something for yourself, okay? You can just buy it. I'm sorry, my princess. I am not hungry. Usile, why are you doing this to me now? Why? Why are you doing this to me now? Can't you see that this whole thing is driving me crazy? You're choking me. Usile, listen. I need a break. I need a me time. Please. In the name of God, can you stop following me around? Please. Anywhere you want to go to, I'm following you. Hey, behave yourself. Did I not instruct you to come to work early and leave when I ask you to? Yes, you did. But you know, my prince, anytime I try to do that, my queen will refuse and just send me away. She will ask me to go home. If she says that to you, insist you must stay back. Do not leave this palace. Do you understand me? 
Yes, Do we prince. have an understanding? Yes, my prince. That girl is beautiful. Then look at her endowment. I just don't know why some men are too blind to take her for a wife. Azubi hmm? are you married? No. All right. She's a perfect wife for you. your sister fell on deaf ears. So I have come to talk to you about it. Tell your sister to stay away from my husband. Tell her to stay away from the prince. In fact, let her resign from her work at the palace. Else, I will pour her acid. Tell her that. If you riffraff dare step into my house to say nonsense like this ever again, I will make sure you regret ever coming in contact with any member of our family. You can do nothing. You and your sister cannot do nothing! Leave this place. I'm not leaving. I said I'm not place. leaving! Do your worst. What will you do? Come out! No, stay now! Nothing better to people to discuss a man. Our princess needs our help. Help? How? What are you guys Every time it's either you guys are in one corner or the other, gossiping. What mischief are you planning this time around? Mm-hmm. All this is none of your business, right? Yes. Okay. Continue for time. You know me now. I will find out definitely. There is something off about Uchechi lately. How? How do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel it's not. It's up to no good, you know. I just feel she's up to hidden agenda, right? Exactly. Anyway, that is none of my business. I don't care what agenda she has. Our main concern now should be how to help our princess out of this palace. What? Help? But the king? Mm -hmm. The king doesn't have to know about it. <laughs> and Usile? I have a plan. Well, you're aware that I'm not meant to leave the princess' sight. And why are you trying to convince me? Relax. Don't tell me you enjoy standing here all day. Surely even a strong and hard-working man as yourself could do with a little rest. An hour or two to stretch your legs won't get you fired. Except you suggesting the princess will magically disappear in her sleep. <laughs> Thank you. But I have my orders and I'm keeping to it. Suit yourself. It's clearly you enjoy suffering.
here to give it to you the way you want it. See what it is. Princess went out and she'll be back soon. Please, just keep it as a secret so that the king will not find out. Hmm? Just do it for me, please. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you. On your girl, one more. I'm tired of this hide and seek. My uncle is very upset with me. He feels I do not want to get married. The princess and I, we have found ways to speak to her father, to allow us be. I hope that works. But the truth is, if I tell you I'm not upset, then that's a lie. Look, if her parents cannot allow her marry you, look for another woman and marry from our kingdom. You aren't going to wait forever. You have all the women at your beck and call. You're the prince of an eerie kingdom. What do you have me do? Of course you know what to do, my prince. So go ahead and do them. Everybody is looking up to you. Your blind mother, your uncles and relatives, even the entire kingdom. You cannot ascend the throne of your late father without getting married first. If you lose the throne, your family will never forgive you. And neither will you forgive yourself. Look at the time. She's not even here yet. And I don't think it's right to start looking for her. I can't go to her kingdom to start looking for her. My prince, you see why it seems as if I'm taking side with your people? Because she's not even doing anything to remedy the situation and calm down agitation from your people. She's not worth the stress. 
So what do we do? Wait for her? Wait for someone we don't even know if she's coming or not. My prince, please, we need to go. Please. Azubike, I think we should give her some more time. Okay? Some more time won't hurt anyone, okay? okay. My prince, I think Princess Kira is taking advantage of the fact that you love her to place you on condition that is difficult for you to meet. Okay? So Some more time, please. All right? If she doesn't come, we can leave. Is that okay? Greetings, my queen. It's me, Chilota. <laughs> Chilota. Yes, my queen. Chilota, having someone run errands for me make me feel so lazy. In fact, I drag my feet around this palace. And it makes me so sickly. I don't want it. Mother, you're right. But the prince insists I come and assist you. That's why I'm here. Why can't the prince, my son, or Gideniru, look your direction? You're a beautiful woman. Why is it difficult for him to get me a wife? Do you know that having grandchildren and a daughter in law is a blessing? Why is he denying me those? Why? My queen, you're right. I feel it's because you don't allow me to always come to the palace to assist you. Eh? Or, or maybe because he sees me as. A common maid. My queen. My queen, please. I beg you. Please, allow me to always come to the palace to assist you. That way, the prince will look in my direction. I will capture his heart. My queen. Also, you know, this is another means of getting money to sustain my family. Because uh, let me always come and assist you. Become my queen. kept me waiting again. You kept me waiting again. I'm so sorry, my love. You know, I had to sneak out of the palace to come be with you. You had to sneak out? By the way, where are your mate? That is the point. She had to stay behind to help me distract to see her. And who is Osile? My father, the king, had to appoint a new guard to follow me around so we don't get to see each other anymore. Kira. You see what I have been talking about? When will this animosity from your father end? When? I'm so sorry, my love. Just take it easy. We will sort it out. Okay? Listen, I don't have time. I have no time by my side. If I don't get married from now till July, I'm going to lose the throne. The throne will leave my family line. Oh my God. I'm so sorry to hear about this. We will definitely work something out, okay? You just have to calm down. Have you seen the reason why I have to get married? I know. But you see, I have to rush home now. I don't want to fall into trouble. Kira, why are you stressing me? Why are you tormenting me? Kira. She loves you too. 
but she's stuck between love and the desire to make her father understand and come to terms about how she feels about you. Definitely, love must always win. Always. Azubike, I have heard that a million times. trying to say I'm ugly. Ha! God forbid. How can I say that? Never. Don't I look presentable for any woman to love me? Of course. Of course you are my prince. You're very handsome. Every woman's dream. Yes. Do I look irresponsible or important? Eh? Irresponsible? Yeah. No. My prince, are you impotent? No. Huh. I'm not. But my mother and uncle are the ones who think I am. With the way they put pressure on me to get married. My prince, it's not your fault. It's the joy of every mother to see the son get married oh. and then have children all over. I see. But they're hanging it on me. They are pestering me. Making me feel like it's a death sentence. Putting me on the edge of making decisions against my will just to save the throne. But they forget that Marriage is a lifetime thing. My prince, look around you for the perfect woman. Hmm? Yes, the perfect woman you seek is around you more than you can imagine. You need to have a meeting with your heart, your inner heart, and concentrate on your immediate environment. Because what you seek is just before you, but you can't even see it. It's just by your closet. Stretch your hands and grab it, my prince. And I know God will help you. He will see you through. I'm so confused. I'm a me My throne has stayed. Oh, Guinea, come get me. Oh, yeah, I'm so lucky to have a Kenya in my life. Mm. 
I am. I'm very lucky. You can see that. <laughs> So tell me, mm -hmm. what was that important thing you wanted both of you to discuss? <laughs> he said mm -hmm. that he wants two of us to spend the rest of our lives together. And, and I said yes. Prince Ogudunir is incapable of ruling our land. I don't know why every other person don't see it. He cannot get married. He cannot get married and I heard it's because he's impotent. Hey! Hmm? Watch your tongue! It's what I heard. Hey, do we? People are saying it. Shut! What are you saying? You told me that came up with it. When did you start to listen to gossip? My cousin was me. The kwa bo ma jia dere ya. Biko. Hey, but mama. Hey, let me tell you. Prince Ogudiniru remains the potential king of this kingdom. Unless proven otherwise by tide of time and the king cabinets. Ihi kota kwa nisi. Mama, it's just very apparent that Ichi Onwaso is a Kwesili. He's capable of becoming a good leader. So why are they delaying in declaring him king? Asanta, that will never happen. Ichi Onwaso will never be my king. Not when my prince, Ogudiniru, is still alive. Oma <laughs> Meme. <laughs> Mama, like I was saying, Ichi Onwaso is eligible and capable. And when he becomes king, his son, my man, will become the prince. And I, his woman, will become the potential queen. Yeah. Mm. When that happens, G. Mm? When I become the queen to be, I will make you my palace mate, my chief mate. Hmm? And then you will serve me and my prince. Enough of this nonsense. <laughs> In Anuya. Don't tell me that both of you are fighting over the royal throne as if you are men. <laughs> Mama, please don't take me seriously. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm only trying to ignite a form of anger in her push her buttons a little just to show her that when it comes to marrying royalty to me that is mere triviality when placed in comparison to pursuit of destiny mm. yes mm. thank god whoever the prince loves is not interested in him mm. yes very soon mama people like you People like her. People in the village start saying, congratulations. Don't Don't Julia is not far from now. 
<laughs> I don't know how it will happen. Maybe something magical will happen because what the prince could not do in three years or in a few months' time. Don't worry. He, he, will, do he will do it in three months. He in will a few do months. it. What God cannot do does not exist. to produce a wife, else he stands the chance of losing his right to the throne of an area. That's serious. But so what do we do now? I'm as confused as you are. I love him. I don't want to lose him. Princess, I know. You know you love him so much. I think you should. Find out the reason the king detests the people of Alibi so much. You know, knowing the source of any problem helps in bringing the solution to the doorstep. Is he trying to find out where that my whereabouts? I know. I confused him. Though it wasn't easy, but he healed at last. You're here. The king demands to see you right away. Okay. I know what you people did, but I will ignore it for one reason, but the next time... Oh, please. What will happen? I mean, is it our fault you couldn't control yourself? Enough! <laughs> on a serious note, Osley, you need to improve on your work ethics as a trusted guard. Yes, because kingdoms have been destroyed on the laps of women lately. You know? Let's go. Kira has insulted us so much, and we cannot continue to allow her to do that. Yes, she's royalty, but you are also royalty. And importantly enough, the heir to the throne of an Inrikin. Azubike. Azubike! Now listen to me. I love Kira. And I, Oguduniru, will never see another woman apart from her. My prince, listen, the throne is the most important thing to you right now. If you lose that throne, oh. Really? Okay then. Since you know everything, what do you think we should do? Good. That's why I double as your personal advisor. Get a maiden and marry her. That way you secure the throne first, which is an inheritance handed down to you by your ancestors. Chilota is a beautiful maiden. You can marry her. That way you save yourself the shame of descending from royalty to a commoner. How dare you? How dare you, Azubike? Did you hear yourself? How dare you say anything like that? I, Oguduniru, marry a common palace maid. That's impossible. You must be out of your mind. Azubike, listen and listen good. Today, I'll head to Uruziani. And I'll sort things out with Kira. And that's final. My prince, whatever happens, you need to present a woman for your people to see and approve. You must get married before the month of July. Else you will lose the throne. Your best right.
What are you doing here? My prince, I'm just coming to work. What are you doing here? My prince, I'm just coming to work. Hey, listen. I'm going out. Open the gate. Okay. Get out! I'm confused. I'm Arabic and I'm so confused. I'm I'm My throne has stayed. Ogini kamle me Onyega wamo Funny, what's amusing you? Why are you excited? Hey, my prince, you need to see how you're looking. Hey, Maka. Hey, this school looks so good on you. Hey, <laughs> my prince, hey, Maka. My mother needs you inside. Go and do your house shorts, all right? You're from this community. Okay. I will tell you now that this palace is not open for people like you. Come. Hey, my queen. My queen. My queen. I had voices. Who is there? Sorry, my queen. No. Hey, my, my queen, you know that here is royal home. Mandy see the mom and this in a drama. They will just be walking and they will come inside this place as if they don't know their direction. Sorry, my queen. It's not, it's not an important. Who is that? My, my queen. Please, I go. Who is that? My queen, my name is Q. Okay. Yeah, I'm a maiden of this community. Okay. My queen, please, I would like to have a word with you. Come to me, my daughter. Okay. I hope there is no problem. Not at all, my queen. My queen, I'm here. Chiluta. Ma? I will send for you when I need you. All right, my queen. Um, Excuse me. Have a word with you. I I came to see how the prince is feeling. And where were the princess? Are you joking? Are you serious right now? Aren't you becoming a nuisance? Yes. Do you want to tell me you want to follow the princess about everywhere she goes? Even when she wants to ease herself, you want to be there. Maybe. I should report you to the king that you're becoming nosy about the princess's nakedness. 
You're not serious. You know I am. You know I didn't do that. I'm only doing my job trying to protect the princess. No! Your job is to give me attention when the princess is not here. <laughs> it is me you're developing feelings for. Me you're not trying feelings for. Not the other way around. Not the princess. Excuse me. Well, uh, are you sure this is the right place to discuss this? My daughter. Queen. So you do not want anything? Not even a cup of juice? No, thank you, my queen. I only came to know how my prince is very. Mm, I sense affection in your voice. Do you love my son? <laughs> My queen, I love you so much. <laughs> but my feelings for him is always dashed on the ground. Since my prince will not look on my way. I love him so much. I love him. Does he know you love him? I think so, my queen. Oh. Yes, but... <laughs> I can't stop thinking about him. Oh my goodness. But, <laughs> my queen, I went out of my way to tell him how much I love him. <laughs> what I did is what no woman should do. But I have to because I love him. Oh. I, I can't stop thinking about him. Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> my prince looked me in the face and says my presence irritates him. Oh. Oh, my daughter, don't worry, all right? That shouldn't bother you, okay? Don't worry, I will talk to him. I will find out why he does not want to choose a wife, even when the opportunity presents itself. <gasps> Thank it's you, all right. <laughs> Thank it, you. It's all right, okay? Thank you. Thank you for loving my son. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. She wants that you're a good woman. <laughs> yes, my queen. My son, you're a good woman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Interested in the prince? Hey! Akapa Messi! I should have known! No! That cannot happen! It's not possible! She, she wants to be the queen over me? Bam! Bam! It will not happen! I will not allow that to happen! I will not! That will never happen! I, Chilotan, will never allow that to happen! Not in this palace, because the prince belongs to me. Yes! I will not let him take my prince. My king! No! Chilotan, think, 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 think. I need to do something. And I have to do it very, very fast. I will not let Chinwe get over this. I have to look for a way to stop her from coming to this palace, yes. How did you get in here? Are you not happy to see me? That is not the question. Alright? You are a prince. From the way you dressed, one could tell. Why could get to my father? That will put you in trouble. And I'm just worried about you, no, for God's sake. That's not true. Kira, you're not worried about me. You're a very selfish person. You're only worried about your father. Listen. Please. I am going to lose the throne. Because you haven't introduced me to your, your family. You're raising your voice for crying out loud. My father could hear you. Please, can you bring down your voice? I don't want you to get into trouble. Where is your car? Where did you park? No, I am not stepping an inch from here. Kira, Leave me. Where are you taking me to? Kira, we need to talk. We need to talk. Bring down your voice, okay? Right. Listen to me. If I don't get married before the end of July, I am going to lose the throne. I have to perform my duties as an Igwe 
during our New Year festival. And I have to do that with my Lolo. That's my wife to be. My ancestors will be mad at me if I do not get married. Because I'm going to lose the throne. We begin to find a solution to this situation now. Listen, I need to buy more time to be able to convince my father about you. He's proving resolute and very stubborn. Kira, my mother wants to meet you. The elders in council, they want to see you. I have to introduce you to my family. Listen, my mother thinks I'm in love with the spirit, some maiden that cannot be seen. Can you please reduce your voice? Okay, fine. I understand you perfectly right now, my love. I am very, very sorry for putting you through all this. I promise you. Okay, fine. Give me two days. Two days. I may have not been able to face my father before, but right now, I believe I can convince him through my grandmother. And trust me, this idea would work out perfectly for us. Please. I'll send words across to you, please. Michiwenza, who are you? Who the hell do you think you are? Palace maid. Mm. If you saw me then at the palace, you would have known what I came there to do. Oh, the last time I checked, Chiwenza, you said Geoffrey, the son of Mokede, is going to marry you last Christmas. And that both of you will go to Bodo, but you will be shouting, screaming everywhere. Like Battery! What happened? Why would you shut up? Eh. The life I live is nobody's business. Okay. Get that into your Cisco. Oh. And as for Geoffrey, he has gone back to the state. <laughs> Leaving me behind mm. against his promises. Look at me, Chiwenza. Fine girl, a graduate like me, to sit back and wait for him to come back with another woman. It's not possible. I'm too smart for that. So I have to improvise. Improvise, you mean? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. The prince. The <laughs> prince. The prince is the man after my heart. I love him so and cherish him so, so much. Therefore, I want to marry him so that I'll become the next lord. You lie. Chiwenza, you lie. Now let me warn you, this is a warning. If I ever see you close to the palace, not even to smell it, if I see you close to my prince, I will deal with you. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Are you giving me instruction as what? It's an order. I am the custodian of the members of the royal home. And if I see you anywhere or your shadows, you regret ever knowing me. I <laughs> warn you. Did you hear me? Are you giving me instructions as what? If Prince Ogudinido is destined to be yours, he will surely come for you. <laughs> you know? But, but this is a break, you know? <laughs> Uh, but do you know that when his friend uh, Azubike suggested me to him, <laughs> the man I love only sees me as a palace maid. <laughs> Is that not heartbreaking, Baba? <laughs> and the worst thing is that one man, Shichuweza. Shichuweza. He's walking away to marry my man, the prince. You must marry the prince. 
don't have to worry yourself. Is that why you're crying? You must marry him. It's very evident he doesn't love her. You never know about her. Keep crying now. I thought I saw you. Oh no, I did not call you. Just mind your business, so. Oh. But this is my business. It's everybody's business here. Yeah. When my sister is crying like she's. I don't leave you alone. <laughs> I was married the prince. Okay. <laughs> now, we need to devise a means. Yes. Okay, let's see it this way. If she marries the prince, we will have the whole opportunity to be addressed as royal family. <laughs> I yes, must now. marry the prince. Look, you must marry the prince. <laughs> Eh? We <laughs> must do everything to work out, work out, work out our way to make it happen. Uh -huh. I must marry the prince. Yes, you must marry the prince. Go by your cable. Don't worry. I must marry the prince. I must marry the prince. Go by your Go by your cable. I must marry the prince. <laughs> <laughs> I must marry the prince. Stop it now. Stop crying. I must marry the prince. Who be back? You dey go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. I must marry the prince. I'm good to leave you. I'm good to leave you. I'm good to leave you. Hold your greatness. Sit down. What? I said you should sit down. I want to ask you a question. All right, sit down. <coughs> um, Uncle De Niro, what month are we in? To beg your pardon? I mean, in what month are we now? February. February. Yes. A fasting period of Ugali. A period we fast in sacrificial harmony to the goddess and the mother earth. This is the moon the people of Aniri host their competitive wrestling event. Dedicated to finding the, the, the annual Ikenga through conquering personal and communal struggle. And we are here without a woman. Uh, Uncle, yes, I know all of that history. And what you don't know is that we did not conclude, we did not conclude the, 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 the second uh, uh, ritual because we don't have a king. And you, my nephew, here to the throne and not doing anything to save the situation. Uncle, may I seize this opportunity to inform you that I must ascend the throne as handed to me by my father. <laughs> you go straight. Because you lose your, your respect as the prince if you cannot provide us with a maiden. So that we we'll go straight to pay his uh, 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 marriage uh, rights. Well, for your information, Uncle, I just got back from Uruziani village where I met with my wife to be. To think that we have great plans. I intend to introduce her to my family, then we can take it up from there. Oh, good Nero. We have only March and April left. By May, we must be ready to marry whoever the ghost wife is. Our father is by July. Yes. And our New Year festival cannot pass August. And that must be after your first of father acting, if you like. Continue deceiving yourself with the, the ghost wife. If you lose this throne, I will meet with the king's men and make sure that you are excommunicated from everything that concerns our family. If you cannot get a wife, go to the less privileged homes. If you like, marry a cripple. Or even deaf and dumb. We are not concerned. So far, you get a wife. Uncle, yes. do you want to know the truth? Why am I here? Tell me the truth. Everything is beginning to piss me off. Piss you off? 
Piece is off. Also, we have to sell off. Also, we All I want you to do is to get married, to continue from what, where your father stopped. What are you telling me? Piece you off or not piece you off? Where are you coming? Father, I, I, I didn't go anywhere. I was in the palace. Shut your trap, you pathetic liar. Shut it! You are not scared of my rot. Why did you allow that infidel, that uncircumcised idiot, to step his ugly feet in my palace? Why? Oh, you do not know that his presence in my palace will desecrate the royalty that I am representing for ages. Oh, <laughs> your surprise. You're surprised somebody saw you. For your information, I know virtually everything that happens in my kingdom. I do. If I were clamoring for war, I would have killed him outside. Please, I, 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 I did not invite him here. I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I won't do it again. For flaunting my orders, you are going to be locked up in your room for three days and three nights. Oh, Will you get up and get out of my sight now? now? Please, please, Father, please. How, how will not do it again? I swear, please forgive me, Father. Please. Come on, will you take a few hands off me? Your sight irritates me. Leave my presence and now. Leave! Out of my presence and now. And you! Make sure that punishment is taken care of to the letter. Three days and three nights. Lock her inside that room until she learns her lesson. For this stupid mistake of yours, you will feel the same pain that I feel right and deep inside my heart. You will feel it! My king, I, I only thought she went to ease herself. For that stupid assumption, you are going to pay for the assumption. Leave my presence now. Leave! Bloody twat. Emetiono tao so de kodrafu. I didn't know you were back. Hey, mom, come here. You were sleeping when I got back. I didn't want to wake you up. Is she here? Cool. Your spirits made an issue. Ah, mom, come on, this is not funny. Jimenez was here. She said she will come back when you return. Mom, listen, I'm not interested, okay? I don't like her. She strikes me like someone who's rude and arrogant. I don't want, I'm not interested. Oh, De Niro, you do not need to like her. If a man wants his love life to blossom, he will make sure that his woman loves him more. And that will ensure that your home forever remains peaceful. And that you answer that came here, she loves you more than you can imagine. Ah. And she will make your home heaven on earth. Mom, that's enough. Enough of the sermon, okay? 
Please, where's Chilota? I need to eat my food. I'm hungry. Oh, she's gone home already. Gone home? Who asked her to go home? She's my maid and not your maid. If you want someone to do those wifely duties for you, go and get your ghostly maiden. She should be the one attending to you. Really? Yes. So this is how it is now? Uh-huh. Go get married. You know what? I know how to cook. I'll just make the food myself. Thank you. Ow! Oh. At least that alcohol didn't get a hold of your consciousness. You've been drinking. You've been drinking. 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 Alcohol. Alcohol! Drunken prince! Drunken prince! That's all you know how to do. Get married? No! You only do what you like. Deceitful mirage. How could that be? So, did my mother invite you here to nag the hell out of me just like she's been doing? You know what? I'm very tired. I need to get some sleep. Is that well, okay? Well, mind is mine to a ghost wife. He has ghost children and ghost. Even maybe half human, half spirit. It's possible. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Mm. He's gone. Oh. Now let me quickly go in and find out more from him. Do that, my dear. And do not allow him to, 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 to stay away from the obvious truth. You shouldn't escape from it. Go remind him of that. Yes, ma'am. Decided you get a woman who will help save your family from losing the throne. Why did you have to go back to the palace of Igwe Zetaban Sudan when you know that he detests our people? As you became. It's complicated. And don't tell me it still bothers you. Because we agreed you forget about Princess Kira. You are a yeah. prince. And you can get any woman of your choice at the snap of your finger. as I want the throne. I do not want to get married because I want to be king. I want to be married for love. Oh, come on now, good Nero. You have to marry for a reason. And love? Love is just never enough. Sometimes love is just a mirage of uncertainty. A bitter ball of gall coated with honey. That's what love is. You're right. At this point, I, I have no idea if I am confused or overwhelmed with emotions. Well. Just take things easy. Be sure that Princess Kira is the right choice in the first place. Consult Sears. Look, I may not be married, but I sure do know a lot about marriages. <laughs> As BK, I do not have all the time in the world to start test running these maidens to find out who the right person is. You hate confrontation. And you don't like anybody telling you what to do. 
But I sure know a confused Ogodiniru when I say him. The imminent question is, what do you want for yourself? I want to be happy. Good! Good! Then make the right choice. That's okay. You see, the revelation as to why the king of Uruziani hates my people is very glaring. What revelation are you talking about? Asunta, calm down. Things are not done that way. Mama, Ekene is the son of a rich man. What stops him from granting me my request? Hmm? Asunta, you know I love you very much. And I haven't said I'm not going to grant you your request. I haven't said so. All I'm begging is for you to be a little bit patient. Mm -hmm. Try and understand me because I'm... Mm -hmm. Please. He's not going to Abuja to stay forever. He's only going there for business. The same business that deprives me the opportunity to be with you. It's him I love, not his business. My love, I know you love me very much. And I love you too. Okay, if I've not been traveling with my father all over the world to do businesses that fetch me good money, how then do I take good care of you? How? No, don't worry. She will soon understand. Huh? Asunta, you know I love you very much. If I don't make this money, then how then will I take good care of you? Eh? I need to make good money to take care of you now. Mama, I have to start going now. I will transfer the sum of 200000 into Asunta's account for your upkeep. 200000 Meanwhile, let me give you this for today, so... I will, I will. Don't worry. <laughs> That's my spec. What is wrong with you? What came over you that made you treat Ekene that way? Huh? Ekene must buy me things and keep me attention. Uh -uh. Who is talking about uh, attention here? You love him. And that is all that matters. Exactly my point. What I feel for him is immaterial. Immaterial, baby. Eh? Unje na ka koko love now. It's like both of you don't want to liberate this family from poverty. I'm not going to plan, no, but it won't work. I'm not work to work. Mama, that's not true. Eh? I want to. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to get the prince's attention. But I don't know, he's not looking my way. He's not looking your way, yes. I got a dozen other look your way. Now look at her sometimes. She's beginning to act strangely towards the rich son of her, uh, Onwa, so who loves her so much. Who will possibly become the, uh, a prince of this kingdom if, if the father eventually becomes the king? Ah, Mama Mbanono, eh, let's not talk about who will be the prince and who will be the king. Because we know who is the king and we know who is the prince that will soon be the king. Ah, Mama, because we are going to You will leave my house, oh. I don't know why I'm singing. Hogan, every time you like speaking English, English, English. As you begin, please, I want you to do everything within your strength. 
to convince the prince to marry me. Chinweza, that could be very difficult. You see, the prince is quite resolute about a certain young lady he wants to marry. And I fear him losing the throne. This is for you. It is for your upkeep. I promise you, once I become the queen, I will change your life for good. Tr trust me. Why don't you change my life already, now that I have access to you? Because I fear that if you become the queen tomorrow, you will regulate who enters the palace. And that will be difficult to see you keep to your promises. Not at all. You don't need to say that. I'm a nice person. You don't need to worry. This talking is just to show you that I'm equal to the task. Really? Yes. And I will do more for you. Okay. All right. I'll do my best. All right. All right. Bye. -bye. My love, I'm so happy and I feel positive about involving grandmother into this was never a bad idea. Kira, but it still doesn't change anything. It doesn't solve the problem of you coming to visit my family to calm, calm the pressure. But at least it has helped to lift the bands. I can now move alone. I can go to wherever I want to go right now and return whenever I want to. Listen to me. Can we plan for your visit to my family already? My love, listen to me. Grandma warned against it and I don't want to go against her wish, pending when my father will come to terms to like you. Kira, I can't wait for you to visit my family. My mother needs to see the woman I want to get married to for her own assessment. I can't wait for you to come. But we can't do it now. Going against grandma's wish might mess things up. So let's let her handle things her own way. Okay? Kira, listen to me. You're gaining your family's trust whilst I'm losing mine. They all believe I have a woman to present as a wife. But the truth is, it's going to be disastrous if I lose the throne. Can we not go over this again? Let's not argue over this. Okay, fine. I understand how you feel, but I have a plan. What plan? I'm so confused. I'm a My throne has stayed. Oh, Guinea, come, man. If you know where you're coming back from, go back there. Keeping calm for you will not have anything. Go back to where 
wherever you're coming from. Enough is enough. Ma bara ga bara. Mama, what's the meaning of this? The meaning is that if you have a wife, you come into the compound. If you don't have a wife, stay out of the compound. Or the meaning. That is the meaning. Mother, don't you think you're taking this too far? Aren't you taking this too far? Huh? May my breath cease. May my stop breathing if I open this gate for you without a wife to show for it. How could you need You are taking my calmness for granted. You're taking me for a fool. Listen, at this moment, you cease to be my son, a member of this family, if you don't come back with a wife. Wife, you come back. No wife, you stay out. What is this? Are you afraid of getting married? Eh? Your father was not afraid to get married to me that I gave birth to you. Marry and give birth to children. Marry! Ogdeniru, stay there. If you don't have a wife, stay out. You have a wife, come inside. Mother, really? Really? Mother, you're taking this too far. I want to go to Morocco. Because if you name me, I can't ask you to go to This time, I'm going to take the bull by the horns. I'm going to take the bull by the horns. Hey! What can I do? Serious about this. If I don't do something really quick, the situation is going to get worse. Kira, my situation is more than pensive. Oh my God. You are still wearing the same clothes since yesterday. My mother locked me out. Huh? I had to sleep in a hotel. Oh my God. Your mother locked you out. Why? Well, she obviously wanted me to know how serious she was about bringing a wife. Oh my God. She said if I don't introduce a woman to her, I should stay away from the palace. Is it that serious? Yes. I know my mother, when she makes a decision, she doesn't go back. I'm so sorry for contingencies. There is always a plan B. A plan B? What plan B?
she said that. This is unbelievable. I mean, every possible solution seems abortive. That's why it looks like I'm at the mercy of her suggestions. Are you going to yield to her suggestions? The right question should have been, what do we do and how do we achieve it? Listen, I'm tired and I need a change of clothes. Well, let's go shop a few clothing for you and I will, we can figure something out. But this is, this is quite surprising. How are you? Hi, thank you, my friends. You look good today, but you actually look stunning. Thank you, my sex, the prince. I was actually not comfortable thinking you never you could not notice my beauty and I could dress more sexy. Right. You know, sometimes you need to look before you leap. All right, that's by the way, I, I want a favor from you. I need you to do me a favor. Well, it's our pleasure, my friends. All right. Um, there's a woman I'm in love with. She's from Uruziani. I want her to meet my mother, but she's not available now. Sure. Why not take me? I'm available. Oh, good. So the deal is, you're going to come to the palace and stay for a while. All right? Most importantly, you're going to pretend to be that woman I want to marry. After that? When she comes back, I'll pay you off. What? Yes, I'll pay you off. I'll give you good money. I'll pay you handsomely for a job well done. Too much! Too much! Too much! Country. What gave her the temerity to do that? Hey. You see, I warned about this pickup. But she told me that her desperation to be with you will make her accept this deal. Now look at the embarrassment. It's alright, my brother. Just sorry. I don't know what else to do. I have an idea. Hmm. Such a handsome prince. <laughs> Even his sweat smells really good. <sighs> I God, God, I wish. He could be all mine. Please, let me be the only woman in his bosom. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ah, come on, you don't need to that. I saw everything. You know, I've been observing the way you've been shaking your backside around the palace all this while. But now I know it's for the prince. Yes, you're right as you begin. I must be sincere with you. I love the prince. Yes, I love the prince. I love him with everything in me. Even the air that I breathe is for the prince. I love him. And I've tried, I've tried everything to make him to stop seeing me as a common maid. But everything I've done, nothing is working. Nothing. Oh, this is true. You're confirming to me now that you can do anything, anything to have the prince. I will do everything and anything to be with the prince. The, the only thing I, I, I won't do is 
it's to it's to cheat on him. No, I will not do that, Zimba. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you not know that his heart is with another maiden of a higher class? Higher class? Yes. My love for him is the peak of all classes. Yes. I, I pray that God will make him all mine. Do, do you know? Do you know that? I started crushing on him the very first day I stepped into this palace. <laughs> yes. Absolutely sure, my prince. Let us go to Chilota. Through her, everything will be made possible. But, but she, she's not... At time like this, we need to try everything. No objections. Look, we don't have much time. Let us go there right now. Let's go. The prince, let's go! God, this girl is... Don't mind her, my prince. I'm confused. I'm a rabbit and the man. What is a mukan? A pukwan, Makaya. On your girl. So confused, I'm a rosy me and the man. My prince, my prince, you're welcome. You're welcome, bro. It's fine, we'll just uh, remain standing, right? Yes, yeah. thank you, though. Uh, please, what do I offer you? We're fine, thank you. Um, Chilota, please, uh, can I see you, bro? Uh, no, please, uh, my children, uh, they, they, don't, they don't cause trouble. They don't steal. Did she cause any trouble in the palace? Not at all. Not at all. Chilota is a very good girl. <laughs> Just a quick one, man. Just. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Please. I'm very, very sorry. Like, it's very funny. You, you mean my prince? Asked a maiden to pretend to be his wife, and the maiden refused and embarrassed him. I don't understand. Chilota, it's very serious. Hey. It's not even a laughing matter. <laughs> the maiden felt disrespected. So why come to me now? Eh? Why come to me? What happened to his supposed wife? Look, it's very complicated. But I'm telling you, if we don't do something fast, I fear that the queen his kinsmen and the elders in council would end up doing something crazy. And that will make him lose the throne. Ha, this is serious. But, but, but there's no way I can help. That's why I am here. I'm in search of a maiden who can assume the wifely role. Someone who has time to spare. Someone who's responsible. Someone who befits my status as a prince. Someone who would convince the entire community. Before Kira comes back. Take responsibility for my wife to be Kira comes back. My prince, what do you want me to do now? I cannot help you in, in this situation. That's why I'm here. There's no way I can pretend to be your wife. I have been the, the queen's maid for years. She knows how I speak, how I react, how I smell, everything. Uh, it will not work. This prank will not work. Hey, 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 that's true. Huh? We didn't think about this. Zubike, your brain has failed you again. I don't know where you find but there has around. to be something we must do. To be hard on. Hey, Welcome, boy. I'm coming. Let me finish. Is that
that not your sister's venture? Yes, my prince. We've seen a maiden that will play the role. And sometimes my sister, she's the perfect person to play it. Trust me, she's very, very stubborn. I know, she will kill it. <laughs> I think she's perfect. Yes. <laughs> that will finish her. That will finish her. That will finish her. What's the meaning of this? Uchechi. I am highly disappointed in you. How could you tell on the princess? Oh, the princess disobeyed the king's order. Unlike you, I am loyal to the king. <laughs> More like you're interested in the king. What's that supposed to mean? You think we don't know you're trying everything to gain the king's favor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but guess what? No matter how desperately you try, the king will never stop seeing you as what you are. A common palace maid. <laughs> Just like us. I might be a palace meet, but I am not small minded as you two. Hey! Who chechi? Hey! Who chechi? See, how many times did I call you? See, it is very good to be ambitious, but don't let it get to a point where your ambition becomes a tool for your destruction. Hope you get my advice. You are entitled to your own opinion. <laughs> Please, no freaking way. Honestly speaking, this is the only option I can come up with in a time like this. My princess, you know I love you and I will support you in any decision you take. But this one, this very one is really very, very ridiculous. Rena, no matter how ridiculous this may sound, right? It's the best we can come up with. We need to save ourselves. I need to save my family's trust. He also needs to save his throne. Listen, I've run out of options. Prince of Gudiniru should work with what I have. It's okay, just stop worrying. In due time, everything will work out well. Just, just. That is ridiculous. And there is no way I am going to do that. Zonta, you will do it. I will not. No, you will. I, I won't. You say you will. The prince promised to reward us handsomely. Zonta, are you addicted to poverty? Ha! Are you will? Why me? Why did he choose me? Above every other person. Why? Asomta. Eh? Forget this why me, why me, why is he not you, why is he? The truth is, there is nothing you're doing in this house, Owe. Nothing. It's better you go there. Oh, yeah, Mama. Oh, yeah, Mama. Let me tell you, the prince promised to pay you a huge amount of money. That can even change our lives. Oh, yeah, eh? Asomta. And. You know now. Mm. <laughs> Mama, please. Mama, very important. If you go to the palace, you will help me speak to the prince to marry me. That's way he will understand that I am the only woman that loves him. That's way he will marry me. Mama, Oh, yeah, one Oh, yeah, one Please, do it for us. Mm -hmm. The prince promised to reward us. And I am hoping that that reward will eradicate poverty from our family. Bam! Piconu, piconu, piconu. Piconu. 
Eh. This is a bad idea. Very bad idea. And if I must agree to it, me, I have my own terms and conditions, though. Because I am nobody's fool. So ha. glad they are. <laughs> Mama, how are you so bad? Bro? I sometimes forget that terms and conditions. We are doing this thing for ourselves. Uh -huh. It's for the betterment of our family. It sounds more Money like for yourself. Here, yeah. Asomta, you must do this thing. And nobody, nobody, nobody will stop you from doing it. You must do it though. And let me warn you, don't go and start opening that your mouth to go and tell Ekene. I won't tell Ekene. Why? Why will you tell him? Why will I tell him? If like go and do 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 Don't even try it. It's our little secret. Ha! Me, yeah. I, I don't know how to keep secret though. You have to keep it. You must learn how to keep it today, today. Don't tell him more. Oh. Before he's back from Abuja, bam, everything is over. I'm over here. Here, come on, take it. Okay, fine. Go ahead and tell us what your terms are. You pay me terms. Why you get your lucky man again? My gaba gaba. My ass open on on the boy. Anything else you want? No. Like you don't need anything, Your Highness. Leave my presence. Yes, Your Highness. You had no courage to speak about your emotions and your feelings towards me. Why? My prince, it's because you see me as a commoner, a common maid. My prince, I worship the ground you walk on. I love you so much, my prince. I gave you all the signals, but you never look my way. And, and, and it's against my wish for me to throw myself on a man who will eventually humiliates and insults me. Now look at where your assumptions has gotten us. I have lost everything, hmm? including the palace. What? My prince, are you saying you've lost the throne? <laughs> In a few days' time, the pronouncement will be made and royalty would leave my family lineage. <sighs> marry me, my prince. My prince, marry me and make me your wife. That way you will not lose the throne. I, I, I love you, my prince. Let me enjoy. Never. Chilota, I do not love you. But thank you for loving me and telling me you love me. I cannot gamble my emotions with marriage. My prince, is it better you gamble it with losing the throne? Eh, my prince? Can't you see I love you so much? I love you, my prince. Can't you feel it? Chiluta, step away. <sighs> I do not love you. But I care about you. And love, it takes time. It takes a lot of time to love someone. But we can build it. My prince, we have all the time. We have all the time in the whole world for us to build it. My prince, we can build it. No, you're wrong. I do not have all the time. And I do not want to lose the throne. Please leave. I said leave. 
Mother, that is my decision and it is final. Such decision cannot be final because it happened many years ago. You said you want your daughter's happiness. That should be more important to you than trying to impress the dead. Mother, you are forgetting something. It is not my decision, but the decision of our ancestors. Yes, personal decision that was never a tradition. They were not law, but was born out of enmity. You are a king of peace, and that you should represent. I said no, mother. Mother. I can't fathom this. This is a culture and tradition handed over to me by our ancestors, and I pledge to uphold it. Were you there? Let the past remain the past. If an Henry had not swallowed his pride and come and ask for forgiveness. Would Urezani not have forgiven? Eh? Now there's a generation in your time that are ready to correct and tidy of history. And you want to hold it back. My son, that history was a bad one. You have to correct it. No, mother. This young man is ready to make amends and make sacrifices to appease the heart of Uwezani. Accept it, son. Allow the both youth get married. No, mother. We are in serious enmity with the people of Uwezani. So as soon as you forget that, the better for all of us. If we refer in answer, yes. If we are full of us, you are full of us. Asunta, eh? How could you be so wicked? Asunta, why are you behaving like someone that is possessed? Calling me names will not salvage the situation. No, I will not condescend so low as to play deputy wife to a stupid prince who cannot make a solid decision, such as picking a wife for himself. I warn you. I will not stand here and watch you speak about my praise in such a manner. Don't try to Please, it. help your faith to dash your hopes on the ground. Prince Ogudiniru or whatever you call him is not looking your way. And I find it impossible to get him to look your way because I hate him. His presence irritates me so much. Asunta, Asunta, please. Eh? You're the only hope we have now. Please help my prince. I don't want him to lose his mother or the throne. He just all I'm asking is for you to pretend to be the maiden that loves him. We all know that there is no maiden. At least with time, you will convince him to marry me. I will not act as impostor to your prince. If he likes you, he should come here and perform your customer duties. Pay your bride price and take you home as his wife. Look at how you're embarrassing yourself. Throwing yourself cheap at him. Asunta. Feel like they're looking. Asunta. He believes in you. Asunta. Why help me, please? Make me feel. Asunta. He believes in you. He 
스피드 소리 앞에 나. 어이. You may be a prince, soon to become king. But guess what? I don't care for any of that. You are a very proud man. And even God resists the proud. You want something? And be ready to give something in exchange for it. After all, life is all about sacrifices. (sighs) 
All right, then, name your price. Good. You will finance my education from start to finish. I'll be studying law. Thank you for asking. And when I graduate, you will install me as one of the board of executives in your father's company. I'm sorry. That's not possible. I mean, that's too much for a woman like you to ask. You're one... A you commoner? Are... A secondary school leaver without a defined future? Okay. No problem. Go ahead and defy this offer at your own detriment because I know that the queen, I know that Queen Gosife will not hesitate to pull you out from your father's businesses because you would have proven to be highly incapable. So think about it, my king. I'm sorry. That's if you eventually become one. I'm confused. I'm Arami and Game. What is a Mukan? A Kupanu Makaya Onega Wamo. Mama, your food is in the kitchen. Huh? Okay, you go and carry it. If you finish that one and you need more, take more from the pot. Oh? All right, Mama. Uh -huh. Mama one. Uh -huh. Whoever disobeys her mother should start spending for herself. Mom, if you check. Mm. Don't touch me. If you touch me, my girl, eh? Click this tap on the night. Wait, 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 mama. What is this? Eh? So you people are continuing with this silent treatment? You people are continuing with it? Why? What nonsense now? When will it end? No, no, you people should tell me. How much longer will it last? It will take as long as you're ready to say sorry for that ridiculous stunt you put out there. Hmm. I do not ask for a human life, oh. I do not I don't know why you are reacting like this, you and mama. What I ask for is, is, is something the royal house can afford. I shake it. I something. You lie. You are very, very greedy. I am not. You are. Don't say you're not though. How could you, Asomta? How could you? You ask the prince to buy you jam form. Then, who are you? I ask you, who are you? I'm not a greedy person. I insist I'm not a greedy person. Mm. I'm just somebody that saw an opportunity that makes sense and I'm choosing to embrace it. What, what wrong is there in doing that? Why, why are you doing like this? Eh? She, you are aware of my ambition to become a lawyer. And since I wrote for Egg, time is going. Ekene is here to gather the money he needs to, with which to sponsor me. And here is the prince with the, the money that they have. I'm, I'm building a future here. I'm building a future. This, this is a good opportunity to let sleep. And I mean, if you think about it, it's poverty eradication. Because the earlier I start school, the earlier I become a law student, the earlier I graduate, do law school, get a job, begin to earn money, enough to take care of you and mama. And then the prince, his late father left some money for him. He has money. His late father, he said, not the prince. But he succeeded his father. They have money. She stop overreacting now. Eh? I, I am aware that you're sounding this way because you have emotional attachment to the prince. But it's, it's not enough for you to take it personal. I'm not taking it personal. But you are. I'm not. He's very obvious as something. You are greedy. You demanded for something way, way bigger than you. Bigger than your level! Have you one second considered the fact that maybe, perhaps the prince turned you down because he, he, he sees you as a cheap 
girl. Eh, now, him and all his splendor, you, you think he will not rate you as a cheap girl? That is why now that the universe has turned it around, he finally needs something from you, from us. This is our chance to tell him that we too were costly. You're not seeing the sense in what I'm saying. Mugwan, now you've chased me away. Who will do all those things? I'm not chasing me away. I'm saying that even if you're hungry or poor, there are ways that you can carry yourself and, and earn respect and integrity. Or no? Every time. From one English to another. Eh? You know, super so you both. Lawyer, he mama. Use English and spoil everything we are doing in this it's house. Okay. I, I can see it only feels this. You don't want to see reason what I'm saying. Your mind is fixed with a line of thought. I'm done with you. Do, you. do I come across to you as somebody that will just. My prince. My prince, good day. Good day, my prince. Are you surprised? So, I'm here to accept your deal. Yeah, I'm here to accept your, your proposal. You asked for a change of life. You asked to be liberated from poverty. I mean, that's everyone's prayer. Nobody wants to live in poverty. I thought about it and it makes a lot of sense. So I, Prince Ogudunero, am ready to extend a hand of help. I am ready to make you happy. But on my terms. What terms? Good girl. You'd leave with my blind mother? Pretend to be my wife. Do we have an understanding? Okay. I'll take your silence to be a yes. Said spirit maiden is here in real life. What? She's here with me. 
She's here. Yes. Come, my darling. Come hug me. Come, come, come. I'm here, ma. Oh, you're here? Yes. Oh, my darling. What's your beautiful name? Azumpa. My darling. You seem distracted. Is Agunuru distracting you? No, mom, I'm not distracting her. Agunuru, go. Agunuru, go. So that we can have our women's talk. Go, go! I can, I can still smell you. Mom, I'm, I'm going. Not until you are gone. Come, come. Don't let him distract you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go! Leave us alone! <sighs> Let's go. 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 let us go you're so beautiful. It's so nice to meet you after all this while. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Hazamta. You're welcome. Vicky, you don't understand. She told my mother her name is Asamta instead of Kira. And she has said she is sorry. Does she need to kill a cow? Before you accept apology. Uh, uh, my prince, I must be very honest with you. You never told her the rules. And even your mind didn't get to think that the queen would demand her name. Oh! What do you mean by that? She's supposed to be an expert. That's Ex why I'm paying her. Or say expert, me. My prince, she never admitted that she has been an imposter before. This is her first time. This conspiracy, are you supporting her? I am just being justified in my purpose. Thank God, though. Thank God who has sent you and CBK to, to speak on my behalf, to be my advocate. What do you mean, Seth? How, how, how can I lie about my name? How do you expect me, me as Amta, to lie about my name? When that is not just repugnant, it is highly repugnant to morality, fairness, and good judgment. Um, um, look, my prince, what I'm trying to say is that no serious We are on this and we are not going back. When Kira comes, we will tell the king everything. And by then the throne is secured and the marriage is sealed. Bam. The king's decision at that time will be irrevocable. And our people, they will honor your wisdom. And on offense, ah. <laughs> And my reward, intact. Right? Oh, shut right up. Right at. Eh, hey, hey, eh! Don't try it, though! Don't try to hush me. Talk too much now. I might walk out through that gate, go to my father's house and no, stay no, there. No, 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 no. After all, I do not need to be a graduate to eradicate poverty from my father's house. What's that? By the way, when am I getting enrolled for my jump? So. Good. Now, say hello to the soon to be Attorney General of the state. Thank you. <laughs> ah, she's good. She's good. <laughs> Attorney General. I like. Nice. I'm glad you like her, Mom. I am usurping her cooking duties. Hmm. She will resume as soon as you pay her bright price. <laughs> no one cooks better than you, Mom. Besides, I, I thought you needed a woman who would relieve you of your cooking duties. I mean, just like you said, I need a woman to cook for me. Not a woman, your wife. Ogodeniru, make her your wife. Excuse me, let me get my job. Mm. My job.
Careful, man. Hi, beautiful. Good morning. I trust you slept well, my love? Yes, I did. Oh, that's good. Um, Mom, careful there. My daughter, you okay? Yes. Hope you slept well. Yes, my queen, I did. <laughs> Mom, you need to be careful, right? Yeah, I am. Um, Mom, mm -hmm. I would like to go see Uncle Okoni. Okay, that's very important. Yes, it is. Yeah, there you go. Can you please help me with this? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Mom, you're not about to play this when... You're not about to play this whilst having your cup of tea? <laughs> I'll play with my daughter sometime. Oh, that's okay. Um, Mom, yeah? I have to go see Uncle Okoni right now. Oh, oh, that's very important. Yes, it's important. Right. You can go. All right. Oh, okay. That's fine. Honey, uh, kindly uh, clear the table when she's she's done. Okay. Yes. Sure. <laughs> that's nice. You're letting well with your wife to be. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Mom, I'll see you shortly, okay? Alright. I'll just go to my room and pick you up. Okay. So, sir? Mother. Where are you? I'm here. Okay. Let me bring a tray to clear this way. Alright. <laughs> it's good to have a wife. Are you now going to turn me into a palace Is that your plan? Hey, you're here to play the role of a responsible wife. And what you did in there is one of the qualities of the wife material. It's not part of the plan, and you know it. I'm done with you. You're giving Oh, oh! Oh my god. No, no, go and come back and negotiate. You are my rule. You negotiate. What are you trying to tell me? Go and come back, Chris. Just go and come back. It's not part of the deal now. It's not part of the deal. It's not part of the deal. Come back and we'll negotiate. Huh? What is this to turn me into? Ah, no, they are good. Um. I came to the palace yesterday and the queen told me you went out well with her newfound love. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. But she told me and that's, uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, yeah, that's why I came to see you. No. Try it, Uncle. I'm cool, Yes, I took a sip before, but I'll just mm. take again. I'll take it. Yeah. Really nice. Good. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> oh good, you know, um, yes, Uncle. You've made us proud. Thank you. When are we proceeding for the <clears throat> marriage rights process? Um, Uncle, very soon. I mean, one of the reasons why I came to see you. You see, I'd like to uh, call for a brief meeting. Huh? Okay. Uh, I would like to speak with the king's men. Your guideline will be highly appreciated. Cons consider it done. Yes. You know, I, I do not want to make any mistakes at all. Yes. Yeah. You have all my support. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Hey! Thank you, sir. Hey! Good. Good. Mother, uh -huh. I must confess I am, I am so marveled at the extra sensitivity of your organs. You are... <laughs> Your ability to capture every happening around you in it. I know you'll be wondering. <laughs> yes, I am. But my daughter, you know the sensitivity of the nose and that of the tongue cannot be compared to that of the sight. 
That is why I can predict everything. Oh. That is why I can predict the taste of my food. To know what to do at every given time. I smell it. I smell things. I sense things. That's to say my sensitivity is very sharp. Tell me, my queen, were you, were you blind from birth or is there, is there something that happened to your sight along the way? <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. You're getting to know Kosife. You're getting to know me. There is a lot I'm going to tell you with time. Nobody gets everything. And what it means is, whatever we have, you have to be contented with it. I'm contented with my sight mm -hmm. and the way I am. <laughs> Where are you? I'm, I'm here. I'm just happy you're here. Happy to be here too. <laughs> So the prince walks into his home and you vehemently refuse, or should I say you feel reluctant to welcome you. Welcome you as what? My husband? Please. Do not get overbearing over an undeserved privilege. The last time I checked, I contracted you to do your wifely duty. What, what you're demanding is not stated in the contract. Please be guided, Your Majesty. I bought you new clothes because you cannot continue to wear these rags that you got from your father's house. Oh, so now you're going to insult me. Point of correction. Do not raise your voice at me. It's very prohibited around here. My point is, this is a royal family, and I do not want my kids now to see you dressed like this. It doesn't suit my personality as a prince. Do you understand that? Make sure you change into these things. Alright, I need you to wear something really sexy. Something to convince the entire community that you're the princess wife. Wow. Besides, wearing rags wasn't part of the contract. It wasn't part of the bargain. I am tired. Prince Uncle Dudu is out there gradually 
converting me into a palace maid. For what? I, is that part of the deal? The way I feel right now, we should either renegotiate or call off the deal. You can't do no such thing, Asanta. You will do no such thing. Eh? Washing plates and sweeping the house or doing any of those are wifely obligations. Did you get that? Asanta, remember our interest in accepting that offer. Eh? So you need to be there and pretend to be his wife for some time. Your interest, sister. Your interest because the last time I checked, it is you who has interest in the prince, not me. Okay, so for, and for your information, it helps that you know that the prince never wants to dwell on any topic that has your name on it. And Did he say that to you? No, but his actions imply it. You see, that is more reason you need to go back to the palace. Yes, speak to the prince about it. Make him understand that I am the only woman that loves him. That's why I need you to be in the palace because you are no no. I stop that big no no. You are. You are impossible. I am here telling you that the mission is futile and you are convincing me to. Do you know the prince has no regard for me whatsoever? And that speaks volumes of how he will regard you if eventually you become his wife. He even referred to my clothes as rags. Yeah, that is stupid. Eh? Your clothes are uh, like rags now. Eh? It's not befitting for royalty. Hold it wrong. You need to go back to the palace. Change yourself to suit my prince. That way, this is our deal. I'm begging you. You need to do this for us, for our family, for everybody. <laughs> okay? Okay. Who's there? It's me, my friend. Oh, Asamta. Yes. I looked for you everywhere. I'm sorry, I stepped out for a moment. Oh, oh, come play my game with me. Go. Okay. <laughs> it's okay now. So let's play. You can actually play it well. Yes. When I was a little girl, I played it a lot with my sister. Oh, that's nice. I love the game. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Let's make the two of us. <laughs> you missed it. No, I'm done. Uh oh. <laughs> I should play now? Yes. <laughs> okay. How do you know the exact place to start from? <laughs> My hand works for me. You know with your hand, do everything. Right. Yes, as a second eye. <laughs> Mother, that is my decision and it is final. Such decision cannot be final because it happened many years ago. You said you want your daughter's happiness. That should be more important to you than trying to impress the dead. Mother, you are forgetting something. It is not my decision, but the decision of our ancestors. Yes, personal decision that was never a tradition. They were not law, but was born out of enmity. You are a king of peace, and that you should represent. I said no, mother. 
Mother, I can't far from this. This is a culture and tradition handed over to me by our ancestors, and I pledge to uphold it. Were you there? Let the past remain the past. If an Henry had not swallowed his pride and come and asked for forgiveness, would Urezani not have forgiven? Eh? Now, now there's a generation in your time that are ready to correct and tidy of history. And you want to hold it back. My son, that history was a bad one. You have to correct it. No, mother. This young man is ready to make amends and make sacrifices to appease the heart of Urezani. Accept it, son. Allow the both youth get married. No, mother. We are in serious enmity with the people of Uruza. So as soon as you forget that, the better for all of us. I miss him so much. Grandma, why has father refused to allow me to be with the man that makes me happy? Tavan Sil, then your father is very stubborn. He feels making or Gudiniru lose the truth. We justify the wickedness and rejection that an remitted on Urezani. Grandma, why is father punishing me like this? What if a good who damns me and marries another woman? No, he won't. I am sure of that. Don't worry. As for your father, he will soon allow you marry a man of your dream. And I miss him. I miss Prince Ogunyiru so much. I miss him. Please bring him to me. I want to see him. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. You will soon be with him. Calm down, my daughter. It's okay. In your tears. I don't like seeing tears on your face. My throne has stayed. Ogini come get me. Do that really fast, then please. I don't want my mother to suspect anything. Go. I said go. Okay. What is the name of this? Eh? I sent you here to speak to the prince into marrying me. Not 
you said you said it. You should have said no. How can you go and serve the prince fruit dressed like this? Eh? So that you won't take my money away from me or, or, or eat your. It's the prince. He got this for me. He insists I must wear them if I'm staying in this house. He even said I must wear them to the expiration of the contract. I don't even like them myself. You should have refused. You should have said no. Look at this young man. I've been waiting for this no man who used to wear at home now. Eh? At home now. The medicine is not in the plan for the soda. You even have to go to the hospital. You don't wait again. You're wearing an engagement ring. Don't worry. The soda. If you see just the prince and he makes animosities at you, you will not like it. Listen to me. I still know what I'm here. Me seducing the prince or the prince having amorous feelings to me is not part of the contract. I am well aware of that fact. He should better not try to develop any stupid thing. Because he ever comes near me and tries to be funny. Eh, hey, I got you. I swear, I will scream and then I try to tell him to pull it up. He tried to assault me. Please, let's go to the bed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You don't have to blame me for all this. You see, the prince has already tried to tell me before I begged him to give you a I mean, considering your desperation, I, mean, I felt that even being in front of one week to help calm down. Are you stupid? Are you mad? No, no, no! It's me! Try it! No, no, no! Raise your feet in front of me! Try it! That's what After all the money I spent on you! You want to pay me back. You're not living this place or you give me back the money. You must give me back all the money I have spent on you. You must give me back the money. Money. Right here. Which money? Well, come on, I need my money back. I can do that. I said I need Come on, get your hands of me. Did, 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 you're mad. Get, get your... I said give me my money. Asunta. What is happening? You promised to bring us to me. Regarding your convincing the prince to marry me, Hogan in me, what is going on? Chilita, to tell you the truth, it has not been easy getting the prince to listen to the things I say. He doesn't want to hear of it. He doesn't want to hear anything that has to do with you. I try my best to get him to listen, but he is consumed with his love for a certain princess who, in his words, he must end up with. Oh, are you seeing that? There is no room, oh, a place for me in my, in my prince's heart. Asunta, I don't mind being a second wife. I love my... Shut up! Look at you, you're beginning to sound desperate. Can you hear me? Asunta, it's not all about being desperate. I love my prince. We know that. That is not new information. I... What you should... <laughs> my prince. What are you doing here? Your duties were suspended the moment Sumter walked into this palace. Well, she is the queen's maid and I am the impostor wife material. So you see, 
Responsibilities differ. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Asanta, please. I will not stand here and watch you speak to my prince in that manner. Please. My prince. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Please don't mind Asanta. Uh, I'm only here to see my sister. I've missed her so much. That is why I came, but no problem. I will go. I will be on my way. What can be about? Begging you, Jeff. Come and sit down here, so. Where are you going to? Asanta. What? It's an order from my prince, and I must obey. Adam Egent, please leave me alone. Chilota! Chilota! I have told you you shouldn't come. If you want to see your family, you can go and see them and come back. going to come be with me and save me all these embarrassments. My ancestors, do not allow me to be put to shame. How do you know when a woman loves you? shows in her eyes she will be fond of you she would feel safe in your arms she'll do anything against all odds to be with her man Ooh. so this ghost lover of yours Why isn't she creating time to be with you? I mean, why isn't she crawling all over you? I'd like to be alone. You know, the qualities you desire in a woman? My dear sister, Chiluta. Ask them. Mm-hmm. If only you look into her eyes, you see them. Chilita loves you and she means well for you. So why? Why are you not giving those feelings the opportunity to thrive? Why do you ignore her? Why do you ignore her? Why do you have to be so bossy? I'd like why to still why are you so full of yourself? That's what I'm talking about. I would like to be alone. Don't take that tone. That's enough. You are not my father. Don't yell at me. Have him. I will be 
I am warning you. Too, what would you do? I am warning you. What would you do? I am warning you. What would you do? that you're the best woman in the world. I wouldn't have known you're such an angel in human skin. Oh, my prince. Oh, thank you so much. My prince, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm so excited. Finally, we're living together as one, as family. That's the only thing that matters to me, my prince. I, I love you. And I pray and believe that I will always love and cherish you. I love you, my prince. <laughs> I love you so much, my prince. What is wrong with you? <laughs> eh? Are you all right? <laughs> Chilota, calm down. Don't rush life like this. God will give you what is yours. <laughs> eh? Mama, how can you say God will give me what is mine? Why has he not given me my uncle Diniru? Why? <laughs> Chineke, why are you being so wicked to me? Chuku, what way you now for Mama? Did God, I serve you and you know it. Why can't you do just this small thing? You say there is nothing big that you cannot do. Hey! Oh, Jehovah. Are you mad? What is wrong with you? Mama. Mama, there is nothing God cannot do. God will do this for me. What he cannot do does not exist. 
The prince is mine. My prince! My prince! My prince! My prince! I am the only person that loves you. And you know it! <laughs> my husband, <laughs> the only man that makes me great. Oh my dear, so sorry, I'm That is all I'm asking you. What? You you called me out here, staring at me for so long without saying a word. You know this can be insulting, and it makes me feel uneasy. Kira, I was just hoping you'd give me a good answer if I ask you a question. A question? Okay, fine. What is the question? Tell me, from your experience about life, relationships and whatnot, how do you know when a woman loves a man? How do you know when a woman deeply loves a man? From the looks in her eyes, she does everything possible to be around him, always. She thinks about him and she feels safe when she's by his side. And then she puts him first. She puts him first. She puts him first over her family. Now you just set the point. My love, why are we going over this all over again? Kira, do I have to tell you time and time again that I am tired about telling you the right things to do? Listen, you need to ignore the consequences that comes with disobeying your parents and quickly get married. We don't have to talk about this all the time. Listen, I am tired. I'm sorry I have to raise my voice at you, but I'm tired about everything. We need to get married as soon as possible. And you need to do something about it. Stop acting like a child. And I need to drive off. Step away from the car so I don't hurt you. Chilota is not feeling fine, so I'm standing in for her. Really? I'll be here for two days. Two days? When did you come back? <sighs> I got back yesterday, but I'll be traveling to Lagos tomorrow morning for a business trip. But you never have time for us. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Come on. I promise to have time for us, okay? Just give it some time. I need to make more money to take good care of you, you know? Hmm? I love you so much. I love you too. Asunta! Asunta, is that you? My queen, I'm here. Uh, it's okay, he's going out. Let me help. Oh, you're here. Thank 
you. You're not coming with me? Maybe some other time. Yeah. Yes. It's okay. Thank you so much. It's a care of the house, okay? I will. I will back soon. Okay. Have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm listening. What's going on? You don't understand. And make me to understand. Spill, I'm listening. Mama, Mama, what is going on here? Why is my fiancé working as a steward in the palace and Chilota is here just doing nothing? Mama, what is going on? Mama, what sort of arrangement is this? No, wait, will be. You will not understand this, so. You will not understand. What is it that I will not understand, Mama? Tell me. Is it the fact that my fiancé is working as a mess servant at the palace and Chilota is just here at home doing nothing? Mama, tell me, what is it that I will not understand? Wait till you be no calm, man. Calm down. Do you know what is getting me angry? As Sumta looked me in the eyes and told me that Chilota is very sick at home. Why she's here? Look at her, Mama. She looks healthy. She's fine. Nothing is wrong with her. Hey, Ekene. No, Ekene. Ha, you're wrong. I'm very sick. Huh? Yes, as I'm talking to you right now, I'm not even feeling fine. In and out, I ride the room, I ride the room, and my babo na anyo anyo. I'm not feeling fine. Mama Bori, eh? How could we then I'm to buy I'm to ride the room. I run a demo style. We got hard to come. Oh na, he we got the knock. We for Kenya me. Mama we for. If I am my dog, I am my dog. Oh, that's what I mean. Eh, nah, please, come and sit down. No change the form. Eh, you say can go say, what is your name? Come and sit down. Oh. You know, I would never do anything to intentionally hurt you. I, I literally forgot to tell her the name to bear. Really? Yes. I can see you are enjoying her company. Reason you stopped coming. Even when you know it's easier for us to see my kingdom now than before. No. Good Nero. You are into her, right? No, I am not. Listen, you're getting everything wrong. It's not what you think. Okay, I can't possibly stoop so low to pick her over you. I can't do that. Abu Dinero, the woman I saw in there is pretty. Right now, the issue of class isn't a deciding factor. I saw you leaning on her. 
You were literally lost in the warmth of her body. And you're here telling me. Listen, I, I, I think you're blowing things out of the pocket. And do not forget, it was entirely your plan in the first place. It was. Well, I'm going to write it down for your continuous news. You know, seeing you dressed like in what looks like a royal regalia clearly amplifies the fact that you are the spurious princess that the prince won't quit talking about. However, he didn't tell me that you were nasty, disrespectful, and rude. How dare you? I dare, princess. I dare. Curse the demands that when you see me, you put up a smiling face and come to me in greetings for a proper introduction. But instead, you are coming on to me much more confrontational than you mean. You really got balls, girl. But let me set the record straight. I'm very much aware that you are handsome. Hey, to play this wifey imposter? Bro, hang me when I set my things straight and get my man back. Now listen to me. Let me remind you that's your responsibility. And act it well. I would like to also let you know that your job does not include you trying to seduce your man or coming anywhere close to you or acting as though you are throwing yourself at him. Young lady, in a nutshell, do not seduce my man. Unfortunately for you, I do not find your man. Please leave your time over the golden baby now. I don't do the things that's fine. That said, please do the responsible thing by clearing whatever delays you have down your path so you can come back to your marriage. My God, I saw them. Nah, I saw them with my two eyes. We are playing uncompromisingly with intimacy and... My princess, why are you getting yourself worked up? Prince Ogudinilu, I know, will not do anything to hurt you. He loves you so much. He's only doing that to keep it real until he's legally married to you. I'm scared. Are you sure? I don't want to lose him. You don't need to be scared. You will not lose him, trust me. Oh God. God help me. Okay, why then did he stop coming to check up on me often as he used to? He's only keeping away to obey the new instructions. He trusts you to handle it from here. Why he does that from his end? My princess, if you keep being like this, you might you might lose him eventually and you will be broken. See, if he bothers you so much, why not follow your heart? Make our plan to go spend some time with him. 
Please stop crying. Okay. Care up for me. Look at you. Look at how hungry you are. Hmm? The pride of our founder. Smile for me. Take it. This is very important to me. No, so I can't afford to fail. You won't. Just follow the instructions. What they can become yours. Eh? And make sure you don't eat out of the food after sprinkling in the substance. Eh? See, the consequence is very extreme. It's very there. I have heard you. Okay. I'll give you the balance when all this is done. I'm all reward when I finally become queen. I will hold you to your word. I have to go now before someone notices my absence in the palace. No problem. My queen. Yes, Azanta. Your food is ready. Come here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Asanta. Yes, ma'am. You're going to make a perfect wife to my son. Oh, good to you. I am sure of that. Sure. Come. Come. Come to me. Asanta. Da? Ma. <laughs> From today, I shall call you Odino Bim. That is to say, forever shall be in my heart. And forever shall be in my family. I know. And I cannot say. But the way I'm feeling you, I can tell what your picture looks like. You're beautiful. What is it? What is it? You're breathing fast. Are you crying? No. No, I'm You want to make me cry as well? I'm not crying. You're such a nice and beautiful young lady. Love you so, so much. Just stay, hold me. Sometimes hold me so much. Hold me. I love you. Don't cry, okay? I love you. I love you so, so much. I love you. Don't cry. No, I'm. I can't anymore, Mama. I cannot. We are selfishly lying to the blind queen. It's unfair. We're taking unfair advantage of her and her condition. Nina, take it easy now, please. Take it easy. I can't take it anymore, Mama. My conscience is pricking me badly. How will you feel if you found out that people that you trust are taking undue advantage of you and your condition? How will you feel? It's okay, please. I, I, I would be lying if I say you, you are not right. Nessie, we have started this already. We have collected huge amount of money from the prince. We can't repay him. I am done, no, Mama. I am done with everything. I will not continue in this deceit any longer. My conscience can no longer take it and I am damning the consequences that will erupt from me breaking the deal. I am done. So, so, what are we going to tell the press? I don't know. I don't know and I honestly don't care, Mama. As it, 
As things stand, Mama, I have lost peace of mind. I don't have peace of mind any longer and I want to have peace of mind. I'm done. I'm done. It's not fair now. It's not fair on the phone. What are you saying? Like, what? Can you listen to yourself? Eh? You get on with That you're done. Done with what? I ask you. Done with what? You're not done with anything. You will stay and finish it. Did you hear me? Did you hear yourself? Imagine you insisting that we continue in our wicked and evil ways upon an innocent queen. What nonsense. I am done. Eh? D-O-N-E. Done. And I am ready to embrace whatever consequence that will arise from me breaching the contract. Asumta, get me here! Asumta. Asumta, Bikon. Eh? Asumta, please, I'm begging you. Stand up now. Asumta, please. Please stand up. Don't embarrass yourself. Stand up. Asumta, no stand. Asumta, please. Okay. Do you, do you know that you're my only means of getting the brain? Offer ah. some of getting. Asumta, if you back out now, I will lose everything. I've lost. Everything. What, what is the need now? <laughs> because I'm your sister. Don't do this to me. She, I beg you. I regret choosing the path of the city. I regret it heavily. And now I want to put an end to it. Don't regret. Don't regret. No, no I'm done. <laughs> Let go of my hands. hands. Stop Stop it. Go. No, no, no. I am going back to my love. Where are you coming from? I looked for you everywhere, then realized you didn't sleep in this house. Hey, when I speak to you, you give me an answer. That's the rule of engagement in this house. I am not deaf. I heard you. Then answer the damn question. What is this? Do I look like your wife or your child? And I clearly remember that restriction of movement, my movement, is not part of the deal, my friends. Hey, listen and listen good. Asomta, I don't care what you do with your life. What matters is, my mother has found happiness around you. And I want you to have that at the back of your mind when you decide to leave this palace without my consent. <laughs> I want you to have it at the back of your mind that you should never, ever raise your voice at me. Don't do it. You can do that when you become king of an Imri kingdom. And that will only happen if your ghost wife avails herself to make it possible. What did, what did you say? Hey, listen! You're my wife! To Allegedly! Allegedly, you're wife. Wake up, Prince Ogudeniru. I am a Santa. I am not Princess Kiria. And don't you ever Refer to me as your wife. Not on joking terms, not even on serious terms. I am a Sumter business associate. Not your wife. My friends. I'm so confused. I'm a resident. My throne has stake. Oh, Guinea, come get me.
onyega wa mo Today, ma. Please, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, bro. I'm here to speak to you about something really important. No, don't worry. I hope there's no problem. Asomta has gone crazy. Chibo. She has gone completely crazy. No, mom. She doesn't speak to anyone. She doesn't do her house chores. My mother thinks we are having some type of irreversible problem. Please, please, I, I, I'm sorry for whatever. I, hope. I will talk to her. You know, she can be stubborn at times. She can be stubborn at times. That's the truth. But don't worry. When I talk to her, she will come back. Depending on the time your fiance will come and take her, her good legs. Tell her I said she must finish the job. Else, I'll personally get her arrested myself. Yes, if she breaches the contract, I will arrest her. My prince, eh? It hasn't gotten to this, so, eh? Mukoma, just calm down, eh? Because uh, as soon as my sister, I'm going to say, Mommy, mommy, but no problem. Like Mama said, we, we will talk to her, and she must, it's a must, she must finish it. Make sure you do that. Yes. Because I am not ready to lose my mother's trust. And most importantly, I am not ready to lose the throne. God forbid. That will never happen. Have a good day. My Yes, I'm accepted to go back. But this time, on new terms, I will not be talking to you again. And the only reason for my return will be because of his mother, the blind queen. What? Asunta? If you don't speak to him, how are you going to convince him to fall in love with him? Do you have some selfishness in your words? No. You sense desperation. As soon as I am desperate, I need the place to be mine. Don't you get it? Maybe his mother too. But he doesn't think of anyone or anything at all. And he has made it absolutely clear that he feels nothing for you. It's what honestly does. I know. That's why we should be courageous enough to move on each other. I wish, but I can't. I can't let him out of my thoughts. You can, my dear sister, you can. I'm not only in love with the prince, I am obsessed with the prince. Yes.
Yes, ma'am. What have you done to that innocent girl? The impact of her presence no longer shows around us. What have you done to her? Mom, I did nothing to her. I have no idea what the problem is. It is possible she's having a mood swing. Mood swing? Yes. Why? Does she want to go home? Does she want to change environments? Have you found out what the problem is? Mom, honestly, I... I don't want drama. I, I don't think I have that time to start petting an adult. I don't think that's right. Uh-uh. Oh, good you know, Joe. That is where you got it all wrong. She's going to be your wife in the near future. So she deserves and needs all your affection. Listen, my son. If you must have a peaceful home in your marriage, shun or eradicate every form of impatience. Is that all right? That's fine, Mom. I'll, I'll find out what the problem is and I'm sure I'll sort it out. Better, my son. Yeah. So. Better. Can I get a hug? Mm -hmm. My love, can I get a hug? <laughs> I want to sit. Do you want something to drink? We just go take care of our I know, I heard that, Mom, but do you want something to drink? Okay, what are we doing? Oh, water. okay, that's fine. I'll get you water then. Thank you. I am going back to my love. Oh, I'm sorry, Oh, I'm running back to my love. Oh, I'm sorry, After all, I bore a fall tomorrow. Like play, I don't develop love for some time. From deal, we don't enter real love. Love you can be funny, but a serious matter. Love you, the stronger past my imagination. No. Did you not notice my presence? What has your presence got to do with me? Has something to tell me? Are you going to deny you're not aware that distancing yourself from my mother is not only tearing me apart, it's also affecting my mother seriously? I recall vividly that the terms and conditions upon which I consented to this job clearly states that I played the role of a false wife in your house and not the role of a daughter-in-law to your mother. To tell you the truth, I am sick and tired of being in this house. Your pomposity makes it hard 
to coexist around you. I never thought I would feel this miserable. And the most annoying part, the part that annoys me the most, is that I forgot to discuss duration of service with you. Now I feel stuck. My throne has stayed. Oh, Guinea, come get me. Oh, you got one more. Oh, 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 is the reason she's acting strange. Maybe I need to take it easy on people. Ogudiniru, when did you learn this lifestyle? When did you start being unbearable? I think I'm allowing the pressure from my family get the better part of my life. I'm so confused. I'm rising me My throne has stayed. Oh, Guinea, come get me. Oh, you I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you earlier. I realized that I overreacted. And I sincerely apologize for that. I don't have a problem with you, Okadunuru. Sometimes, if you don't have a problem with me, then why are you avoiding me? I'm minding my business. <laughs> right. Sometimes, you certainly know what I'm talking about. You and I know you've been the lively part of this family. But for some time now, You've been so withdrawn. You're always by yourself. You do not communicate with me. You live in the palace, but your presence is not felt. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. And I beg you to please let me be. All right. Since you have no idea what I'm talking about, it obviously means you have no problems with me. You're fine with me. On that note, can we kindly go to my chambers? I mean, and talk over some fresh palm wine as friends. Thank you, but I am not in the mood. Please, I insist. No, thank you. Asanta, I have always wanted to say this to you. 
Do you know? You've got charming eyes. And your lips are very fine too. And stop it. Please stop it. Listen. Let me finish. Have you been told that you are very, very beautiful? <laughs> Such compliments make me uncomfortable. Really? Yes. Say I'm ugly. <laughs> okay, that's that's really funny. That, I mean, that's uh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> but um, I'm really sorry. I've always wanted to ask this question okay i'm curious like who's your man <laughs> are you in love what does it look like what does his do? name is Ekene, and yes i'm in love he he's hardly around because he's always having to travel he's always um monitoring his father's businesses and that that makes him travel a lot but do I miss him? Yes. Well, you know, we're two of a kind. My woman, Princess Kira. Too bad she never has time for me. She's always manipulated by her father's decision. And, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy, you know, sometimes uh, you want something so bad and um, he doesn't come the way you want it to come, so yeah. Say no more. I can absolutely relate. I mean, Ekene will hardly finish a sentence without bringing in his father's name or his father's business into whatever topic that we were talking about. But is he a good man? Yes, he's a good man. Is he? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Father, I must tell you the truth at once. This oppression has to stop. You must allow me to marry the man I love, not the one you want for me. My daughter, Kanebi is a very wealthy prince. And the father is a very good friend of mine. Marry him, you will not regret it. And let me promise you something, straight up. If I don't marry Ogudiniro, who I am in love with, I would rather remain unmarried forever. Forever. If I do not 
allow her to marry the man of her choice, she may end up running away from the kingdom to meet with him. Yes. And that will be so demeaning to this royal family. It wakes up and soothes it. A war, rap on what's a cow on audio. Screaming like an ambulance. Wow, wow, wow. What's wrong? What the fuck happened here? Oh, we just had a. We were really fast about it. What? Uh, come on, we're... we didn't last long. It was a quickie. We just... What? Wait, wait. Is that how you scream when you have sex? <laughs> What's all that? That's how you. That's how you scream, like for real. Shut up. <laughs> Like, that's how you scream. Wow. You were screaming like an ambulance. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Shut up! We didn't do anything, did we? Stop killing me. Well, okay, that was a joke. That was a joke, I'm serious. Nothing happened. Okay, 
I can't take advantage of your drunken state. I'm a responsible man. I was drunk? Oh, fuck, I was drunk. Besides, you were completely drunk last night. You literally couldn't walk. So I had to make you sleep in my room. Yeah. You were drunk too? So how am I sure you didn't get carried away? Well, I... I had a little sip, but I didn't touch you. Even if I did, I mean, that would have been part of the extracurricular fiancé activity. I am not your fiancé. Well, unofficially you are. Morning. Morning, night. Where are you going this morning without doing anything? Hey, Mama, eh? I have an important message I have to deliver. I'm coming. When I'm back, I'll help you do all these things. Mm. <laughs> yes, Mama. Back up also. I'm coming up. <laughs> Having a hangover, do you want some water to drink? I just want to get off this clothes. It's very uncomfortable. Listen, wait, 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 wait. Listen, like I said, last night you were so drunk that you made a mess of yourself. So I had to take off your clothes, take them to the laundry room. So if you want to change, you'll have to go to your room. And stop looking at me. Huh? Get your eyes off me. I want to go. Okay, wait.
happened? Uh, what did Azamta do to you? <laughs> My own sister betrayed me. <laughs> Azamta betrayed me. What did she do? Come <laughs> I went to the palace. I, I, just to look at the face of my prince. For me to see a doctor wearing the prince's clothes and coming out from his room. Why would she do a thing like that? Mama asked me now. Mama, is this what we said to a doctor to go to at the palace? Mother, you sent for me. Mother, you sent for me. Your daughter, Princess Kyra, has threatened to leave the palace if you do not allow her to marry Prince Ogudiniru of Aninri Kingdom. Mother, I can't believe that I left my royal duties to come discussing this. Mother? This is a family matter. I must be treated as one. If I had come to the palace, I would talk to you as a king while you sit on your throne. But I invited you here to talk to you as Tabansi Udene, my own son. So you must listen. Mother, if Kiria, my daughter, do not marry Ogudiniru, he stands the chance of losing the throne. And that will stand as a deterrent to others. It will be a recompense for what their forefathers did to my own forefathers. And I am representing. If you cannot handle this, you will be a failure that could not handle his family. This thing you call protecting your own is cowardice. Mother! Allow that girl to marry the man of her choice. Ake Gurumwata. Mother, for you and Prince Ogodiniru to be together. It will definitely happen. What is wrong with you? Why would you just buy into the princess's room like that? What is it? My princess, forgive me, but I, I think there is a problem. Your Highness, I 
So what did you put in substance in the phone? That's not true. I cannot give that to my kid. I saw by the box. That's not true. Really? Uchich. Then taste the food. You heard that? I am your king. I command you to eat. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry, my king. Great. That is what has come over you. Ambition is good. Dreams, wonderful. But you don't have to attain your dreams through dubious and diabolic means. No! My face cannot behold your sight any longer. From this day, you are banished from my kingdom. Take this circus monkey out of my sight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please, please help me, kill me. Please help me, kill me. I told you, I told you, I told you this girl was up to something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it sure is. You know, I used to bring Kira here, but she never seemed to like it. Well, I wish I have someone that would bring me to this kind of place every day. It's serene. You know, this is where I compose most of my poems. Oh. Each time I come here every morning, the bird's redeeming sound creates some type of inspiration around me. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. So go ahead. Recite some for me. Go on. <sighs> okay. She has a special way of turning things around. She makes all the bad things go away. When I look into her eyes, I see beauty. I see love's obscurity in disguise. And sometimes, I know what I feel is real. And sometimes, I also wish she can see how much my heart, my love for her grew. And sometimes, I wish we can start up something new for her to know that what I feel in my heart is true. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, let me do mine. No. Don't laugh. No, it's okay. Uh, I couldn't find the right words. Nothing seemed to rhyme. To construct you and eulogy would take time. So I'll tell you what I have to say, exactly the way I feel, just to show you 
that I appreciate you for being there every day. I wish I could list a lot of other things, but it's just not possible to list it all out. You need to stop. Why? Because you make me feel tender. I am not comfortable. I sometimes know your time of the deal is up. But I can't let you go. I just can't let you go. going to see. Oh, is that you? It is me. I'm the one. Oh, hey, you're welcome. Oh, damn! Man. I <laughs> came to see the prince um, and his uh, bride to be. Where are they? Hey, well, they are not at the palace at the moment. Mm. Yes, you know the prince is fond of her. Oh, where? Hey, man, I got off phone at my So he has gone to stay with her, where he usually have his quiet time. Hey. Uh, <laughs> This is my second time of coming to see the bride to be. Uh -oh. um, most time, every time, one thing or the other will hinder it. And I've told uh, Okudunero to bring her for me to see. And he has not. Don't worry. Since you have told me, eh, I will make sure he brings her. Okay. Now that I have known. Oh? And so why do you? Don't be angry. No, no, you're looking very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh, I it's can see good. you enjoy yourself. I should. I should. Please let, sit. Let me get something to drink. Oh. <laughs> Just relax yourself. I want to go and take my evening uh, <laughs> cool. Eh? Uh, what is how we enjoy ourselves? No problem. Let me continue with my practice. Oh, one of them. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> oh God, no, no, stop it. <laughs> stop it, you're making me laugh too hard. <laughs> what? It's funny. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, tell me more. Oh, baby, you are so sweet. I love you. I love you so much. What? I didn't hear that. <laughs> no, I did not hear that. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> okay, let's stop it. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Tonight? How is that even possible? And after that? What happens after that? <laughs> Please drink water. Yes, baby. I'm listening. <laughs> go on. I'm gone. Please go inside and drink some water. Say it again. Yes. <laughs> I swear I'm not ready for this. What is this?
this. Uh, what's what is this? I cannot stop it. <laughs> stop it! I like it. <laughs> Santa, mother, you mean you're going to leave me here again all alone? Not for too long, mom. She's back next week. Santa, I'm going to miss you. Please, I beg you. Do not hesitate to come back. You know he's boring here alone. I'll be back shortly. But till then, Ogodinero will keep you company. That one? He's hardly home. He'll just leave me here and go to his business. Well, he promised to be with you this time. And you promised to cook me out of soup. Mother, I will when I come back. When are you going to come back? Soon. Very soon. I'm going to miss you. I know. I'll miss you too. My daughter's happiness is paramount to me. I know you've not been yourself for quite some time now. Father, you took away my happiness. The moment you refused to allow me, be with the man I love. And I am here to bring back your happiness. If you are sure you love Prince Okudini, the prince of Anyeru Kingdom, bring him to me. And I will bless both of you. From today, I declare that the enmity between the people of Anibu Kingdom and my kingdom, Uruwezani, is settled because of you and Prince of Godinero. And it is permanent. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. I love you. I love you, my daughter. I love you so much. Thank you, Father. Does this mean I can now, I'm free to go to Aniri to see Prince of Udinili? Anytime. And any day. <laughs> She has not returned. What is happening? 
What is going on? She promised she was going to come back. But why, why hasn't she come? Did she quarrel with my son? Santa has not come back again. What is the problem? Um, mother, there's no problem. I, I'm sure she, 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 she will come. I have the premonition that something will go wrong. And it's certainly becoming clear. Premonition? Yes. Mother. Nothing will go wrong. Everything is fine. I can smell a female presence. Who is here with you? No one. I'm, uh, female presence. I, I'm the only one here. Mother, I'm right here beside you. There's no one here. It's me. And your voice gives you out. Kings do not lie. And he just lied. But, um, mother, why don't you go in and get some rest? I promise to bring Asanta here tomorrow to see you. Please do, my son. Really, Mister. Please. Do, my son. I'm For God's sake, Obudinu, we can't continue like this. Kira, I understand how you feel. But we need to find a way to re-establish you into her heart. Yes, I think it's high time we started changing the name. My name is Kiria, not Asomta or whatever. That's okay, I'll sort it out. I will. It's okay, it's alright, okay? She has changed. Why did she change? What did I do wrong? Why? What did I do to have made her change? Oh, 
has changed. What happened? Why? Sorry. People think I'm foolish because I'm blind. I'm only blind. I'm not foolish. You are not a Sumta. You can never be a Sumta. Wicked girl. Wicked. Sumta is kind of mean. You? You're so wicked. You're so mean. She has completely changed. Asamta is not the same person you brought here the last time. Mom, she's the same person, all right? She's the same person. She, she didn't change. Find out what happened to her when she traveled. She doesn't help me in the kitchen anymore. She doesn't play with me anymore. She has completely changed. Mom, come on. Maybe she's tired. Have you thought about that? Huh? Have you? You know what? I'm just going to talk to her. That's no, all. No, maybe, maybe something is bothering her. Find out what that thing is so that we know how to handle it. I'll sort it out, okay? I promise. I'll sort it out. Hug the needle. Did she see you with a woman? Maybe she, think, she thinks you're probably cheating on her. Oh, herself. mom! Come on! Calm down! You're yelling at me. No, I'm not. Oh, Jesus. I'm saying this because I, I am very uncomfortable. Mom, it, listen to me. I. It, even her voice changed. Mom, I, I just said I promised to sort everything out. You don't have to keep talking about it every time, okay? Listen, you know what? I'll, I'll just... I have something to do. I did remember love, oh, hard man, oh. I'm sorry, oh. If you don't have money, you don't have money. 
Your coming is unannounced. Azubike, there's a problem. My mother is beginning to find out Kira isn't a Sumter. Well, there couldn't have been a way she wouldn't find out. So what do we do? You remember those chores that Azomta does for and with your mother? Princess Kira should start from where she stopped. I think that's a good idea. Don't worry. I want you to listen to me. I am not trying to enslave you. I am not going to do that. I will never do that. All I ask is, kindly do those chores she used to do when she was here. At the end of the day, I am only trying to convince my mother. Oh, Deniru, don't you get it? <laughs> listen, I can't do any of those things you are asking me to do. Okay, fine. I know how to cook, but I can't because in my father's house, we have maids and guards who do those house chores, all right? And as for your mother's boring game, I'm sorry, I don't know how to play it. I mean, how can that even be better than what we have right now on social media? Kira, I honestly do understand how you feel, but please, we must find ways for you to learn those house chores. Like I said, at the end of the day, I'm only trying to convince my mother. My throne has stayed, come me. No, 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 Listen to yourself. Isn't it obvious that you're in love with her? Even when your tone and your face gives you out. I'm getting married, Kira. How can you be in love with someone and make marriage plans with another? You're not under any obligation. I'm sorry, bro. I already made my intentions known to her family with my kinsman. That is the same way you can change your mind and make plans with the woman you truly love. <laughs> the date is fixed already. I'm getting married to Kira. Listen, fixing a date is not enough reasons. Even your uncle Chiokwonyo will tell you that there is more to marriage than what you think. Listen. It is better to break an engagement than to suffer in marriage. Hmm? Follow your heart and tell her something you truly love her. Hmm? Yes. Yes, my prince. Hmm? Yes. Um, Agudeniro, my son, I have just two questions for you. Why did you wait for this moment to tell me this? And why did you take us to Ruezan in the first place? Uncle, mm -hmm. with due respect, I'm not here to apportion blames. The truth is, I was desperate to save the throne. Okay. 
Besides, I was trying to calm pressure from home, which was why I agreed with Kira to allow Asumta standing for her. Um, this situation is a bit dicey. But I will advise we must go on with the marriage plans. Because this marriage will bring peace and harmony between Uruwezani and the Anini. Uncle, hmm? will the marriage equally bring peace to my home? I've lost him. I've lost my dreams. My prince is eventually getting married to the princess. It's okay. You need to calm down and move on. There is nothing more heartbreaking than loving someone and not having the courage to declare your love for that person. That's your fault. You should have told the prince how you feel about me. How could I? The prince sees me as a commoner, a common maid. That is how he sees me. The future is right. Prove to your life that you're not a commoner. No harm. How have I been? Life has been terrible since you left. I can imagine. Considering the fact that you are getting married. The news is everywhere. Our prince, Ogudiniru, is getting married to Princess Kiria of Uruizia and the Kingdom. It's not that easy. I'm equally planning my marriage with the Kenneth. Oh, oh yeah, that's... I... I didn't know you loved him that much. Well... There are many things you don't know about me. Just like there are lots of things I don't know about you. I, I guess that's because we're just doing deals. Yes. Because we're just doing deals. Why are you here? Well, I am... Um, 
I came to know how you're doing. And it is very obvious to me that you are doing very fine. And also preparing to get married to the love of your life. So I wish you good luck. Your mood, not a confirmation of my thoughts. Asomta, I sent you to Prince Ogudiniru's house to help me lure him into directing his love attention towards me. But you went there to seduce and fall in love with him, Asomta. Why are you so wicked? Why are you so wicked? Why did you allow the devil to use you against your own sister? Shilota, I know you're a troublesome person. Mm. But I do not want to get into this with you. How will you want to get into this with me? When you're already thinking about my prince! Asomta! If you're an American quaggy, I should have known that the rival I am contending with is none other person but my own sister! Enemy within! That is what you are. I have important things to think about. Shame on you! You will not have time now. How will you have time, Mom? Husband's not child! If I never want it! Every time you'll be speaking English, English, English! I'm using to be deceiving yourself! Hey! Asomka! Eh? You know, I hardly understand you sometimes. If I remember correctly, a few days ago you spoke highly of her. So what changed? I changed my mind because she changed her attitude. And it's too early. I need to make better decisions for my son. None that I can before it's too late. Mom, it is your Odinobi we're talking about here. She doesn't answer that at all. See why I told you she has changed. Everything about her has changed. Her attitude, her everything. Careful, Okudinero. Do not say the not one you. If she can swiftly change like this, that means she's not genuine. Mother, do you realize that I have started my marriage process and I can't go back? Besides, did you forget I was forced to get married, and I have made my choice. And that's final. Careful, Ogudiniro. Treat carefully. You have to be very, very careful. I'm confused. I'm Marami and Ocheze mukane kukwanu makaya Onyega wamo Onyega wano mo Iyemgeme I'm so confused I'm a razimi yemneme My princess mm. I am extremely happy for you. 
I know, right? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. You finally got your heart desire. Oh, thanks to God. Yes, and in few days' time, you'll be married off to him. I can't wait. And I know you will be so happy. <laughs> oh my God, Urena, I am super excited, anxiously looking forward to that day. Like, I can't wait. Ah! Oh, you know, it's been a long time coming for the both of us. Hey. Come on. What, what is it? Urena, I understand. But listen to me. I have seen stop seeing you as my maid, but as my sister. So you are free to visit me anytime, whenever you want. Okay? But my princess, why can't I go with you? I still want to be your, your maid. Come on, you can't be my maid forever. You've got your own life. Very soon, I'm very sure you'll find your own man. A man that you will love and that will love you back. Nick, you build your own family. Don't you want to have your own family as well? Cheer up. You should be happy for me, baby girl. Why are you frat? Don't give me that. Just get off that mood. I'm Come sorry. Off it. I'm sorry. I I'm happy for you. Just that I will miss you so much. You should be happy for me, baby girl. I'm happy. Mm. <laughs> I'm happy. The most important thing here is that we can still be seeing each other. You are free to visit me whenever you want. So <laughs> come off that mood. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Ray? I will miss you so much. You don't, you don't miss me. I'm anything. a morning star. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Big man swag. <laughs> you closely today and I noticed that you are overwhelmed and disturbed by something I'm fine mama I am surprised that you've not dressed up. Why? I've changed my mind. Changed your mind? Yes, sir. How do you mean? Okonye. Who? The lady Ogudiniro brought previously yeah. has changed. People do not change like that. Something tells me, my spirit tells me, there is something about that lady. You go dim. Nah. Oh. Is there something you will know and you people are not telling me? No, my queen. We've gone so far to withdraw at this time, point in time. We can withdraw at any time, as long as it will give us peace. Something tells me that if my son ventures into that marriage, mm. you're making a very big mistake. And you know I cannot support that. Angelikwao, he is your only son. Mm. And most of us have been waiting for a day like this. I know. The moment my son drinks from that conjugal cup that sees their marriage, that girl will show him hell. That girl will be so wicked to my son. Okonye. Okonye. Dim. Considering the issue is a proper, who is that lady? Who is she? Today is supposed to be your happiest day. But here you are, feeling gloomy. Here, is anything the matter? The 
queen says she's not coming with us, that she does not support the marriage. What? Yes. Ha. Huh. How can my mother say that on a day as remarkable as this? I might tell her that there's a mix up somewhere which is not comfortable with. Uncle. You all gave me a time frame to get married. And I did everything in my power to save the throne. And now everyone is turning their backs on me. Why are you not supporting me? <clears throat> um my prince, to be frank, you went too far. I know the queen very well. For her to lament this way, even I'm beginning to think that we are doing the wrong thing. Princess Kyria might not be the best for you. Who is Princess Kyria? Oh, uh, mom, uh, he actually meant um, princess uh, uh, or something. Oh, she's even a princess. I do not despise the woman you want to marry. It is just that she's not right for you. She is not the woman for you. Not anymore. I can feel it. Mom, that's the woman I love. Obedirinu. I beg you, do not continue in this marriage plan. Cancel this marriage if you love me. Mother, did you hear yourself? After all these struggles, you want me to cancel the marriage? Do you have an idea the type of disgrace that would cause this family? Somebody disgrace now and live in regret forever. This entire community you want to impress will follow you to go and conduct the marriage. Maybe follow you go back. But these people will not be there when the actual marriage will commence. My son, there is a day after the wedding. And that is a new marriage. Mother, all my life, I've always pleased you. It is time to return the favor. It is time to support your only child. Mother, please. Support your only child. Abidemiro, I can't do it. Mother, are you saying you can't do it or you won't do it? Kira, after the marriage. 
Your traditional marriage. You may have put in a lot in this, but I think... But what? But what? You want me to go back and cause more chaos between two kingdoms under my reign. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. But we have always lived in peace while we were enemies in this kingdom. That should be your major concern. Really? Azubike, really? You want me, Oguduniru, to call off my wedding and do what? And break Kira's heart. Why should I do that? Why? Because you're more confused, my prince. Look, my prince, whatever decision you make, I will stand by you. But please, please don't make decisions in confusion. <laughs> you know what? I'd like to be left alone. Is that okay? Okay. I'll be inside there. But please think about it. My throne has stake. Ogini kamgeme. Onyega wamo. significantly beautiful is looking back in his letter. And you realize you truly love your husband. After all the challenges in marriage process, you still remain with him because the reason you love him is still much alive. Love your husband even if he gets many cocoa bites. No, wait, Grandma. See that part? I dread that part so much because I can't stand the disgusting sight of watching my husband cheat on me with another woman. Grandma, I promise to rain fire on them. Never. My daughter, it is inevitable in men. No matter the jealousy of a woman, our tradition did not forbid polygamy. You are entering a new journey. A new phase of life. So you must focus on the bright side of it. If your husband loves, understands, and respects you, then you must learn how to tolerate him and get all out. You are not just getting married to a good neighbor. He will soon become a king. And then you will be getting married to an entire Anibi kingdom. Then you will have to guide everybody. Yes, my daughter. <laughs> Thank you so much, Grandma. And I still insist that I want my husband all to myself. All. The best form of learning is learning in the process. Above all, you marry to stay married, no matter what. Yes. You know, Mama, my princess will not share. Uh, <laughs> that's our tradition.
Okay, May the keg that will bring quarrel between in laws God broken on the way. Don't worry, let's go, brothers. Don't worry. When we go to Abaji, the bar and our wife will send this one. We cannot be waiting for this people. This cannot be waiting for us. Oh, cream. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Where's the Santa? Where is the Santa? I want to use this opportunity to wish you the very best in your marriage. With the presence of Urezani, I also I want to I want to I want to let you know that I haven't been able to. I got the courage before now, but I must tell you that I love you. I love you with every day within me. Honestly, I don't know if I can live without you. Seeing a wife on her wedding day could bring bad luck, you know. My father taught me that. Not exactly true. I only came to tell you again that I love you so much. I sometimes I love you too. What? Did you just call me Asanta? No. Did you just do you love her? Do you love her? No, no, I, no, no. It, it, it was a slip of tongue. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. Kira, listen to me. I... It took you time to think it through, right? Kira. Kira, it's not what you think.
Asanta, it will not be well with you. It will not be well with you. I sent you to go and speak to my prince. <laughs> to make my prince marry me. <laughs> Instead, you went there and seduced my prince. <laughs> now my prince thinks about you and not me. <laughs> so you prefer to be a mistress to my uncle Dinero. Asata! <laughs> hey! <laughs> You tiny snitch! You think you can steal my man? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be getting married to the prince right this instant? I found out everything about you the moment Ogudinuri told me your name. You want to know what I discovered? I discovered that you is after my man. You want to steal my man away from me. Excuse me? Excuse you! That wasn't the plan! You were only meant to act as me for a few weeks. Not take my place in his life forever. I am not taking your place. You're getting married to him today, are you not? But he calls your name often. He finds it difficult these days to even confess his love for me. No, how do you explain it? Why does he have to battle with his mind before saying that he doesn't love you? Why? I'm speechless. Listen to me. I won't warn you again. After today, I am going to be the official queen of an Inri kingdom. And I will not hesitate to crush it to powder if I smell you anywhere around my man. Do not say I did not warn you. I'm so confused. I'm a resident. My throne has stayed. Ogini come get me. Onyega wango. Anything wrong? It's okay. Who's <laughs> it You know, 
Who's the girl? So this is where you are. This is where you are, snake. You should be ashamed of yourself. So you have the mind to stand here and cry. Asota. Asota, you. I sent you to the palace to speak to the prince about me. I sent my own sister to the palace to speak to the prince into Maribi. What did my sister do? My sister went there and seduced my man. I did not seduce your you man. Morgan, shut up! Man. Shut up! Mature Morgan! What, what is your problem? <laughs> eh? You should have known that your sister is far bigger than what you are saying. <laughs> what, what is wrong with you? Mama, I am tired. The prince does not love you. He loves your sister. Is it not high time you understood it? <laughs> huh? I'm tired of this, Mama. I'm sick and tired of this drama. Okay. And I seduced the prince. The plan was to get him to fall in love with her. How on earth was I supposed to know that he would not love you and love me? Ah! All day, it has been from one confrontation to the other. Prince, leave me alone. Leave me alone. If you like me, Mama, you supported her. You are so bad. Oh God! What's wrong? Yes, I go. told Mama. Go, be go. I'm gonna go. You still go? Go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be a constable, child, Mama. Mama, how could you? How could you, Mama? Don't tell me that. Don't tell me. Is it not for you to tell your son that to leave my man alone for me? Are you here to leave me, Mama? Is that what you're saying? Oh God! Oh, oh, oh. I will not take this! I will not! I will not! I will not! <laughs> I will not! <laughs> the priest! <laughs> Up. Do you think I'm doing the right thing? It's too late now. As you can see, we're in the process of paying her bride price. After which the proper marriage ceremony will take over. Kira is your wife now. Greetings, my elders. Greetings. Greetings, Father. You are welcome. You are welcome. I have my opinion. My daughter. My people. Today is a very great day in this kingdom. My daughter, Prince Ogodiniru from Aninri Kingdom is here with all these things and the money to have your hand in marriage. So what are you telling us here? Do we accept? Uh, my people, I ask again, are you now confirming to us that we are not going to one day be asked to pay back all this? And are you equally promising us that no other man will come with the same proposal? Is it a promise, my daughter? Yes, Father. I love things
In that case, in that case, take this one. And reveal to us who is this man that has stolen your heart. All here, the king's men. So that we now know he is your husband. Do that, my daughter. <laughs> Azubike, to hell with the consequences. Do you understand me? The last time my father, the king, ignored my mother's advice, that simple negligence cost him his life. It doesn't matter when I make my decision. What matters is, I eventually made it. And this time, it's not late. Have a good day. Where is he going? Huh? He's going after his heart. What do you mean going after his heart? Love you, the stronger past my imagination. I am going back to my love. I'm sorry. Azubike, what is it you are not telling me? And my princess, please calm down. Let me quickly go after him, please. I blame my father for all this. My princess, just put yourself together. I've got to go. Are you? Where is she? Uh, who are you asking of? Uh, my prince. Where's Asomta? My prince. Uh, my prince. She has left. My prince. She left the house. Now listen to me. 
She's the woman I love. If I find her, I'll reschedule. I'll do another wedding. Where's she? I, I've told you, she, she just left the house. I love this place. <laughs> well, just like you have a quiet place where you observe your quiet time, this is where I observe my own quiet time. Right. And then I think about my anecdotal stories. Great. Yeah. Hey, listen. I was going to say that we are both compatible in different ways. And I wish Kira could act like you. I mean, my relationship with her could have been or could have passed for perfect. Let me show you around. Okay. <laughs> we can play a game. What kind of game? Catch me if you can. Ooh. Are you ready? Can you run? I can run. Can you run? I can run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I know where to find her. For yourself is to get back to town immediately. Wait. Yes, it's about my sister Santa. You need to come back now. Yes, now, now, now. If you like, be there. If you like, be there now. Me have told you. Let me explain it there. It's your fault. It's your fault, father. Listen, if I ever lose Prince of Udiniru, let it be known to you that how will you let me lose her feet? Spare me that Kiria! Spare me! I have always known that their kingdom is full of equal-minded people. 
And that was why you originally never wanted to have anything to do with a young man. Conspiracy rules in their system. He humiliated me and counseled the engagements. You better. You better do everything humanly possible to sort this out. Sort this shame that you're about to bring to this household out. Or else, I will show you how the venom of the Bible can penetrate this shell of the torches. So Gudinu called off the marriage and headed back home. What? I've not seen him. He hasn't gotten home. Where else could he be? I think I know where to find him. Azubike, what happened? I'll be right back, my queen. just another friend when I got to know you I discovered there were complications in my heart that I needed to uncomplicate the memories we shared haunt me every day they make me want to cry Now I have to forget my old love and embrace my new love. My feelings for you are true. This is the true feeling I have. Remember this. The uniqueness of my jewel is translucent in your eyes, making love easy. I love you. You make me happy. So happy. I know. I'm sure. I've been looking for you everywhere. I, Ogudumiru, love you so much. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Asomta, please say something. Say anything. 
That was not the plan. I know. But following the new plan is what matters. I love you and I want you to marry me. Please. Marry me. Marry me. Did you see him? That's him. Prince Ogudiniru. He called off the marriage with Princess Kira and headed back home. Yes, I do it! <laughs> Jehovah, I know you will do it for me! <laughs> Did he I know you will do it! Wait, he called off the wedding? Yes! <laughs> Me to him, please. I want you to marry me, please. God has done it for me. Take me to him. Please. Sometimes, not getting what you want is what you need. I sometimes listen to me. You are the most valuable part of my life right now. If you say yes to me, I'll marry you right here, right now, before the world. I love you. Please. Please. it anymore. I love you. Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. My father used to say that doing the right thing at the wrong time is always consequential. But this this one right thing that has the wrong time yet accepted. We must hurry and tell the good news to the people of our new kingdom that the king has found the perfect bride. <laughs> Woo! My prince, congratulations. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Let's move on. He literally 
literally left me for her. Hey, hey. <sighs> Getting such a reason to build such gift is where you started getting it all wrong. Please, my child. Like I always told you, certain truth may never be told. I may be incapacitated in the eyes, but that is an inability of the mind. Meaning my mind is still very sound and clear. I would have loved to know how the marriage went. The Odimnobi went to pay her bride price. I rejected. But the one he came back with, I accept. I accept you. Because I love you. I love you. Mother. Yes? Her name is Kira. Okay. It is possible we were never meant to be. But I clearly was carried away with the mirage of royalty and social status. However, I thank God that I found treasure in that same place I, I refuse to search. I have found wisdom in, in the same tongue I refuse to listen to. And as for the beauty I have seen in the eyes of your Odinobi, I clearly admitted that I refused to look. But I have just realized that I have learned my lessons in the same journey I refused to embark on. Mother, please. I know I have offended you. As I go on my knees, I plead with you to forgive me. I'm sorry for everything. I forgive you. Get up, my son. Get up. I 
I forgive you because your eyes are now opened to reality. Love is called love because it is witnessed by those whose eyes are opened to the to life's illusion. I would rather you see the ugly truth than be excited by the rightly placed mirage. That relationship was a complete mirage. It was dead on arrival. <laughs> now, you can prepare to get married for you. Thank you, Mother. trying to tell me that the prince of this kingdom can sue this traditional wedding with Princess Kiria? Is that what you're telling me? Eh? Wait, are you saying that? Am I telling you? I'm telling you what is happening. Eh? The prince did not just cancel his, um, his marriage. <gasps> He's planning on marrying my sister, Asomta. What? Yes! And the worst of it, Asomta accepted to marry her. She accepted to marry the prince just to save the plan. What? Hmm. Tell me you're joking. Tell me this joke, please. Do I look like I'm joking? Like I'm, do I look like I'm joking? How can I be joking in this kind of situation? You serious? Yes. If there is anybody the prince should marry, it should be me and not Asomta. But I don't know why Asomta is doing this thing. But if you ask me, I would suggest you rush down to that palace and go and save your wife, Makada Mama. Eh? If not, before you know it, Asomta will no longer be yours. But the prince... Uh, I've had enough. It's okay. Excuse me, I know what to do. I need to do something. Be no, fast. Just... Be fast, though. As I'm talking to you, be fast. So this is true. My prince, you have been minding your business for a while now. And you refuse to give the royal house a bride. For the beautiful maiden in this kingdom. You want to snatch my woman away from me? So you want to snatch my woman away from me? Is that it? I'm not going. Who am I? How did you get it? I saw you for a little bit, my woman, and you were asking me, who am I? How? I can't know what are you doing here? Oh, I should be asking you that same question. Santa, what are you doing here? Well, if you must know, I'm here to take my fiancé home with me. Santa, let's go home. Go where? The last I remember, you and I are not a couple. Okay. Let's go home, buddy. Huh? Santa, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? My parents are busy preparing for a wedding. I have been flying around different countries for business trip to make more money so I can take care of you, Asanta. Please don't with you. Please. What else do you know aside from money? Do you know me enough to claim that I'm your woman? Do you? Let's go. Forget about it. I really don't want to take care of you. Please, let's get out of here. 
Connor Lynch. You watch that? Um, young man. I think you have overstayed your walk. Please leave. <laughs> I should leave your box. If you don't want trouble, yeah. Are you kidding? Okay, good yeah, I'm so capaz. A good man so capaz, I should leave your box. I don't have your time. Sometimes. Let's go. Go! I said you to leave! I'm not going anywhere! I said you to leave! Stop me! What is going on? I thought I could have you all to myself. But I was wrong. Time was supposed to heal us. But I'm not healed yet. I've decided to forget about everything we shared in common in the past. I move on with my life. Bearing in mind that fate never wanted us to be together. We may be royal. There's such a great difference between us now. <laughs> I'm still single. Believing that very soon, God will bring me my own better half. see it in your eyes. I know. I deserve all the hate. I deserve everything. But from the bottom of my heart, Apologize for breaking your heart. Please forgive me. I, I, I wish I can turn back the hands of time so I can make things right. But that's why I'm here to right my wrongs. However, want you to be happy because against all odds we are good friends and most importantly I want you to be happy for me please I want your blessings. And the only way you can show it to me is be happy for me. Please. It's all my fault.
if I have not delayed accepting your relationship with my daughter, the love that you share with that gear wouldn't have surfaced, let alone driving. It's my fault. I am responsible for everything that happened. But sometimes, sometimes, dangerous delay may cause denial that will change the narratives of history. I apologize, my great king. Apology accepted. Long live the great king of Uruziani Kingdom. Long live the great king of our new kingdom. <laughs> I don't develop love for us. 